That's right. This is the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. Sweat. I the rules Sweat. So when I say Sweat. Go. Sweat. And this Sweat. Is place for Sweat. Sweat. Talk about, Sweat. Talk about my wife. 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 Talk about
Like we totally fucked him. Talk about my Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money and people wanting justice. He is not a real person. He is not genuine. He is not honest. He's a scammer. I just see a scammer. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Follow Holy me. shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. <laughs> Bagging. Like, we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on it, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. Introducing the chocolate star finish! Mirkhead Ma. Ah, uh, yes, my children. Yes, hello, my fellow, um, swears. Yes. Correct. Correct? Correct. Um, yeah, let's get this started. Well, we have to talk about the latest drama between uh, King Sway and uh, King Keem. Uh, so, what happened basically from yesterday, it's a follow-up from yesterday, is uh, something that happened, of course, as I was sleeping. Me sleeping is basically Phil's day off, when, when things are happening and I miss all of them. And then I cry. So, what happened is uh, DSP wanted to reboot, not reboot, but let's say... Take Keem's idea of uh, the LOLCOW podcast, or as I like to call it, the LOLCAST, and basically make it without Keem. Uh, so it's basically like making a group chat with your friends without that one friend that everybody thinks is annoying. But also, he's kind of the coolest one of all of you. It's very complicated. It's a very difficult dynamic to figure out. Anyways, um, somebody snitched on Phil, and Keem got to know this through Twitter or something. And uh, then it's very funny. So uh, let's see. I have bookmarks here in Microsoft Edge, the greatest uh, of all time. So let's see what we got. So <laughs> Agdolf Pigler, uh, big of checkmark Agdolf Pigler, uh, says 20 minutes of DSP talking about Keemstar tonight. But remember, he doesn't do drama content. Keemstar literally ran free in his head. I haven't watched this. This happened 15 hours ago. I don't know. It's probably on the late stream. And uh, he said uh, he's doing the, the LOLCOW podcast with a third party. And uh, Boogie Boogie revealed this. Yes, Boogie revealed this in a side, scro sc side scrollers interview that we watched yesterday. Uh, then uh, Keemstar replies to this. Nope, Boogie and Wings are doing the LOLCOW podcast without DSP. Uh, then Akdolf replies, he claims he has things going on behind the scenes with Boogie and Wings, with somebody else being the moderator. Uh, I would clip it, but he has that turned off on his channel, of course. Uh, Mr. Transparent. Mr. Honest. And then Keemstar replies, yeah, it's true they were talking about it, but I found out today and put an end to this by simply offering a better plan excluding DSP. He offered them a better deal than DSP, and obviously they're not going to take fucking DSP's deal. Who takes DSP's deal? Come on. And, um... Uh, uh, how is this news now? Uh, he did mention that he wanted to do a podcast with Boogie and Wings, but wanting to do something and trying to do it or trying to kind of kick start it or trying to do something about it they're two different things especially for dsp because he wants to do a lot of things and he does very few things so there you go and uh, of course uh, review tech usa was tagged in this and he responds uh of course review tech usa being 
Review Tech USA, says, I'd be down at Keemstar. I don't have a stick up my ass like they call me DSP, so it would actually be entertaining. I, I, would, I would think it would be more entertaining with DSP in it, uh, instead of Review Tech USA, seeing how DSP is an actual lol cow and a pure lol cow. Uh, because he's still in denial about being a lol cow. I think uh, with LTG would also work pretty good. So, uh, DSP, the guy, made an actual drama video about it. For some reason. Uh, so we're gonna watch this now, of course. We, we all love the drama. And apparently he loves the drama too because he put it as his featured video on his channel. You couldn't... For some reason I can't see it here. But you can definitely see it on mobile. That's how I saw it this morning. Am I doing a podcast with Wings and Boogie? Is Keemstar involved? The real story. Parentheses. So far. Uh, May 5th, 2023. 20, Before we begin, first of all, uh, today is Saint George's Day. In most places in Eastern Europe. So congratulations to all the celebrators. And um, get fucked up today. Instead of watching DSP React. Then... Um, after this stream, uh, after this video, we're going to be watching the DSP pre-stream. After that, I'm going on uh, the Decepticross channel, and we're going to be reacting to the DSP reacts. And we're going to be playing a drinking game, so we're going to get messed up. Uh, and it's going to be very fun. So that's going to be it. This video is 13 minutes, 37 seconds long. It's a lead video, as some would say, as uh, the children say. And... Um, well, we're gonna get it started. Okay, let's see what the drama is not about. The the not drama. The the non-drama. Uh, or maybe there is drama. Ooh, we're gonna figure it out. Okay. What is going on, everyone? What is going on? Drama here. alert nation. And, uh, I'd like to clear the air. Uh, there's something going on right now. A little bit of misinformation all over the internet. And a lot of questions about, I guess, some stuff that has been said. I guess by some stuff. parties over the last couple of days regarding my possible involvement. Uh, it came up on my Oblivion stream tonight of all times, and I'm like, this is weird because it's derailing my stream. And obviously, you guys know me. If you are a fan of mine, I like Today to keep things. Today is amounts of chill on... interactive fun. Yes, it's gonna be uh, pretty massive amounts. Topic. I don't like to have to interrupt. He the... likes to keep things on topic. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay. Let me, let's keep going. This we're already not even thirty seconds in. We're bullshitting. We like to keep things on topic. Talking about nonsense that has nothing to do with said session. So what I decided tonight to do is after I finished my stream, I said, let me just make a video talking about what's really let going on. Let me just on. make a drama Obviously, video. My perspective. He loves this so shit, way, dude. This got more views in 12 hours than the last drama video he made. God damn. The truth about my side of everything going on. And, uh, and that way I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I really don't feel like derailing my other content talking about this so i'm making a special video i'll probably set this as my uh, featured video here on dsp gaming for a day or two just so enough people can see it and hopefully this will <laughs> i wonder how many ads he got on this video it's a 13 minute video maybe four ads maybe five. Oh, this is gonna bring in the big bucks he should be beefing with keemstar every week any room should be going back and forth right. constantly so here's the deal um i guess this all started where i guess boogie went on a podcast it might have even been the side scrollers podcast i haven't even really confirmed that um, <laughs> i haven't he... really confirmed that bro this is this is a, a 15 minute video of him trying to explain the drama happening the very first thing he mentions is that he hasn't confirmed something so you already lose credibility you don't even know what the fuck happened bro I haven't confirmed that. Who, who do you have to confirm this? Do you have a team of fact checkers that do all your research for you? Come on, dude. You can just look it up. It's on Twitter. There's clips of it on Twitter. That's how I saw it the first time I saw it. But then again, it was from a troll that he probably blocked. Interview was talking about, you know, the whole idea of me, him, and Wings being on a podcast that was going to have Keemstar's involvement. And I guess Boogie still has some resentment there where he's upset. The, I, he says things like, I cost him and Wings $50,000, all right? That is he says, he says a lot of things, a lot of things. But yes, that's one of the things he says. He cucked him out of 50K, which is what he did. True. Uh, I can't cost someone money when I'm not involved with something, all right? What apparently the idea was that Keemstar had is that he wanted to do what he called a lull cow podcast, that he wanted to have it be me and Wings and Boogie. 
and he was apparently going to pay us $50,000 each as a signing bonus, and we were going to each own a certain percent of the show, and his role was that I guess he wanted to push the show to various platforms and try to get what, what, what the track. fuck is this bullshit, man? What the fuck is this, I guess? You talk to the guy, including a live recording of you guys talking, and over DMs, and on Twitter, and we're still on I guess? We're still on I guess. Everything is just like, we, we acting like we're stupid. It's like he fell down the stairs and hit his head, and he forgot everything. I guess this happened, you guys. I don't know. I haven't confirmed it yet. You, you don't know what you said no to? To get advertised. He doesn't know the offer he refused. That he thought about a lot. He thought about it a lot. He talked to his wife about it, and they decided to say no. But he still doesn't know. I guess. ...and try to get product placements and try to syndicate it. And essentially make money off of us doing a show. Okay? <clears throat> now, you guys know me. If you, Again, if you're a fan of mine, I don't like Keemstar. I don't like the content he puts out, nor do I like what he stands for as a person. I think that he's kind of a despicable person. Yes, I think personally. Then why just string him along? Or has no more. Why did he and try and play games that. with the guy? Why? Other. Why was he trying to fuck around? The moment Keemstar tagged him on Twitter at first and offered him fifty thousand, he could have just said no, I'm not interested, and then move on. And this whole thing would have been avoided, even though people would still be talking about how he refused fifty k. But no, he had to pretend like he possibly could be interested, even though he never was interested in the first place. And then eventually say no after acting like a diva, like like a, a girl that that's in high school playing hard to get when she's not interested in a guy. Uh. Involvement with the guy, I never wanted to. I would never do business with this man. Um, I already told my story about how last year he was trying to reach me. We had a complete disconnect where he wouldn't even call me at the assigned times he was supposed to call me. The assigned so times. <laughs> So I never knew about it. I never he never knew, knew it about it. I never agreed to be a part of it. Bro. This question never even happened. Okay? We didn't even talk about it, even though they talked about it in writing. He needed to talk about it in the specific ways DSP liked to talk about it, just so it can be official. Either either it didn't happen. That simple. It's that so, simple. I mean, it's kind of weird that Keem talked directly to Boogie and Wings about it first. Apparently they had agreed decided to talk to me last and didn't work out because he couldn't even contact me, nor did I have any desire to do with business with him anyway. Sounds like he was promising something to them he had no right to promise. My flowers cannot get out. ASP won't do any sponsors, even Raid who sponsor everyone, even my puppy and I got over $100 from that with 40 followers and 5 viewers most. What a kitten moron. Uh, because he has to be honest, dude. Because he has to be honest. Because he can't play a game that somebody offers you to play and pay you for and advertise it and then get the money, as everybody else does. Uh, this is foreshadowing for next week, by the way. Next Saturday, the massive hashtag ad stream. And by massive, I mean it's going to be an hour long. And then we move on to DSP. You know, oh, I'm going to give you $50,000 if Darkside Phil will do the show too. Well, I'm not doing the show. I had no intention of ever doing it with this man involved so i don't know how that's me costing them money that's keemstar's fault for essentially having an idea it's keemstar's not fault that would be possible okay he promised them the world Bro, he over -promised, he promised them under deliver what much have i talked about that in my own content oh you fucking know. sack of shit um so quite frankly i have no involvement in this whatsoever it gets brought up on my interview with side scrollers back in march and you know, I'm like, I don't even what this has to do with anything. I, I don't fucking care about it. I, I don't like don't the guy. Care about I don't want involvement with him. Okay. I have no desire to talk to him ever again. All right? So, Boogie bringing this up. Listen, I can understand if the guy's strapped for cash. He needs the help. And he's sad he didn't get the 50K. But, Phil, you're supposed to be like that too, right? Because you, you're the guy who begs way more than Boogie and Wings. Because those dudes d don't beg nearly as much as him. Not nearly as much as him. He's supposed to be the guy who actually needs the money the most. And he acts like a diva. He acts like a drama queen. A meaningful and robust Bruh. Content. Hey, you're welcome, man. Thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. Big ups to little Venice. Yo! Gar lighting boogie and PDF file wingo lol Of course he's gaslighting him. He, he can't do anything else, bro. This is, this is so tiresome, man. But I don't really think it's so fair tiresome. That that's put on my shoulders. Yeah, it I is. Had no involvement with this it show is. whatsoever from the start. 
I didn't even know what the offer really was because I never talked to Kim about it, nor did I desire to. <laughs> you didn't period. even know what the offer okay. was. So anyway, that's part one. They told him, hey, Phil, we're going to have a podcast of you and these two guys, and you're going to get paid a lot. I didn't even know what the offer was. They needed to send him a 15-page brief about it. Now, part two is awesome. I guess what he had mentioned on this interview or, or whatever it was that <clears throat> we had been having discussions behind the scenes about possibly starting our own podcast. And when we're talking about that, we're talking about Boogie, Wings, and me, okay? Um, here's the truth of the matter from my perspective is we have had very early discussions. I mean, I had been talking to Boogie about this, you know, last year saying, I don't want to do anything with Keem, but if you want to do something with me, just you and me, we could have a conversation. We could do our own show. We could have, just interview each other just for the benefit of each other's channels. <laughs> Whatever you would want to do. <laughs> we can interview each other for clout. Wow, that's an awesome idea, Phil. Hey, Boogie, do you want to come on my channel, DSP Reacts? Boogie, <laughs> let's do the LOLCO podcast without Keem. Who needs the 50k and sponsors? A-C-K-A-C-K. Yeah. A-C-K, A-C-K. Because he thought that, that Keem would just stay there and be their boss and tell him what to do. And, and do nothing else. The dude would get him brand deals day one. He would get merch going on day one. He would make him a fucking Spotify, iTunes, all of that shit. They would all make residuals out of that money. They would literally have passive income. And all they have to do is show up once a week and do a stupid podcast. Talking about fucking video games and, and pop culture TV show bullshit. That's all they have to do. It's the easiest 50k you can ever make. They didn't even have to leave the house. They wouldn't have a studio. They would just go on Zoom and have a meeting once a week. That's all they had to do. All they had to do. We kind of shot back and forth about it for a while. And he decided to cuck him, cuck him out of 50 grand each. And in additional more money coming down. God damn it. And he's supposed to be the guy who needs it the most, right? He's the guy who constantly saving his house. He's the guy who took an extra day off and was talking about how he's behind now. It's a big panic. Oh. And in fact, Bruh. I'll be honest with you guys, I was thinking Big ups, uh, 5150 for a super maybe chat. interviewing Boogie for my new DSP Reacts channel at some point this of year. Of course. Uh, but that didn't work out. As you know, my interview show is kind yeah. of a hiatus for various reasons. So what are the various reasons? What are the various reasons, Phil? I wonder what. Because uh, back there's a clip of him talking about uh, the various reasons being that um, his side scrollers interview didn't go well. And now people see him in a negative light or some shit. Uh, so yeah, that are the negative reasons. That's that's your reveal. Anyways, um, remember, remember when he brought up he was talking to somebody about um, about DSP asks it his his fucking interview show, and I said, dude, I think the guy he's talking to is Boogie because Boogie doesn't hate him. They have a, a previous history of talking in the DMs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think it's Boogie. It was Boogie! The... So, it just kind of cooled down and there was no real discussion. Then all of a sudden, all the, out of the blue... Out of I the blue? by a third party basically saying that... Who is, who is this? Person can we there. fucking dox the third party, please? Can we, can we reveal who it is? We calling Keem when hearing the unicorn offer. Uh, yeah, but DSP calling Keem, that's that's basically ad admitting that he is better in his mind. It's a, it's a fucking ego thing, man. It's an ego thing. That's why he's acting like a prom queen. Representing kind of Boogie and Wings. And Wait, what? he's going to be the third party to put the whole thing together. He's no representing Boogie and Wings. Hold on. I got contacted by a third party basically saying that this person was representing kind of Boogie and Wings and was going to be the third party to put the whole thing together. No, it was not Keemstar. And in fact, the way it was pushed to me was this will have zero Keemstar involvement whatsoever. Who the so fuck is I'm this I'm not dude? arranging for any podcast. Someone reached out to me as a neutral third party saying, I'm working on this with Boogie and Wings. <laughs> Who represents Boogie and Wings? Is it like the chairman of the fat white dude society? Who, who the fuck was that guy? And we want you on it. And we'd like to do a show together. Uh, um, yada, yada. What? Oh, shut the fuck up, DSP. This stupid ass music. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Is the CEO of Fat Dudes? He reached out. Hello, Phil. I'm the CEO of uh, Obesity Incorporated. I represent Boogie and Winks as two of my biggest uh, clients. Do you want to do a collaborative effort with them, please, sir? We've had very few. Taught maybe a few back and forth emails and discussions. This whole we have thing not is met. making me we so mad that I might have to take a break from him for a few days. Keem is trying to make money off him. 
Get out of here. Dude, like... uh, What I like about Keem is that he understands how to get people to spurg out just like this. And he understands how drama content is made in an entertaining way. So all it takes for him to to do is go on Twitter and make a a bunch of tweets and call DSP a loser. And then we we get an emergency 14 minute video about this. And it's, it's... Big it's up good. to my favorite creative style host. Hey, big ups, man. Um, banana, tasty, banana. Big ups, uh, keep swaying. Sway. Sway, sway, sway. And, uh, and DSP doesn't understand this. And he keeps taking the bait. Even though his last tweet at Keemstar is not uh, about not taking the bait. That's actually a great tweet. And now he took the bait and he made a fucking drama video. Thing, like literally this Man. is the earliest planning stages of anything you could possibly even think of okay but really we haven't worked anything out we don't know exactly how it's going to work we don't know what the schedule would be we don't even know you know i don't even know how we make it happen yet why not what you need to do is kind of sit it's down really not and that hard together and what the I way the is, the way we could happen we did that happen. being said is alt and sam were pr- getting it ready Basically, they were the the two guys to get it ready. Then Sam wrote me a DM asking if I want to be a part of it. And then I said yes. And then we made some assets. I made the logo in like 10 minutes. And we just made it on Discord one day. This shit is really not that hard, Phil. He's acting like he needs to go to a soundstage in Hollywood and film like an official, formal $50 million production. Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. We will happen after this fight that Wings and Boogie are, I guess, going to have sometime this month. I literally don't even know when it is. I think it's within a week or two. I, I have Mia no clue. Is the third moderator. <laughs> I was, yes, with a sock. I pretended like I'm Boogie and Wings' is rep. And I, I told you, man, the CEO of Fat Dudes, Fat Dudes Incorporated. Stars involved me. I don't care. Go, swag. I'm going to do with it. So I'm not paying attention to it. But hey. The fight goes down. Hopefully, both of them are healthy and safe after the fight. And and then I get contacted again about, hey, let's make this happen. Let's talk. Let's have a meeting. Then I'm, I'm all for it. Okay? Um, Now, in the meantime, there was a little bit more conversation. For example, you know, one of the things discussed was that, you know, they they figured I don't want to call it the Lal Cow cast, to which I responded and said, yeah, <laughs> number one, I don't want to be involved in anything that, that makes fun of us, degrades us, or makes us feel like shit. And calling us Lal Cows does that. I think that's stupid. If we're going to start our own show, it should be a fun show. It's different. To bro, with self teasing. Bro. It's another thing. No, no, no. It's different. It, it, you, you trolls. I don't. Yeah, that's that's your whole thing. Want to be involved? Then you miss the the fundamental point of it. You miss the fundamental idea of what this was going to be. And then, good thing you didn't participate because you would literally ruin it. That's the whole idea. It's you three. Nobody fucking takes you seriously, and they take DSP the least serious out of all of them. The least. The least. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, I guess... Because he got the most trolls. The most troll channels out of all of them. And they all fucking make fun of him. Nobody takes this dude seriously. And he's the one who wants to be taken serious. Look at this pause. This is a good pause. Keemstar had originally intended to call this podcast the lal cow cast to which i kind of said i don't think it would be right for us to try to use that name why not Team star absolutely oh yeah with that name and to use that he <laughs> could definitely have some kind of a stake to interject and say hey i have a problem with that you steal this whole idea but let's name it differently this is like uh hey man can i copy your homework yeah but but switch around the answers a little bit like word it differently so so the teacher doesn't notice that was my name and that was my idea he's right i actually from a business perspective could see having an issue with someone using that name that someone else came up with so in that regard i think we should call the show something different and i did state that <clears throat> in a couple emails but that was it i never had any direct discussion with these people about it it's just initial back and forth emails and that's it um and that's that that's literally it there's been no major discussion about you know money or how the show will work or anything really like that again we didn't even have an initial meeting yet i'm waiting for that fight to go down and hopefully these guys to be safe afterward and then he, he wants to see if they're gonna survive the fight <laughs> man this dude is such a fucking goofball and just it, uh, dude this is like he that's how he crippled his whole life by wanting to be taken too seriously and then 
it, 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 now he's the opposite of that. It's like the Streisand effect of trying to be taken seriously. You're trying so hard that you induce the opposite effect. ...to sit down and put our heads Incredible. together and try to figure out exactly how it would work. And that's it. So, really, there's been nothing to mention. I figured, what's the point of talking with my audience about it oh. until we... Will he we give them each $100 like Rambo? <laughs> yeah, if they ask for 100 Maybe they're, they're going to raise like $5,000 from the podcast, but they're going to say, hey, Phil, you know, I, I thought maybe you can give me 100 Yeah, I was thinking like 2000 but that's all right, man. You can have 100 actually sat down and solidified some more details and, and you know, even know that it's going to happen. I'm the kind of person, as you know, I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. Why hype up sure. the possibility of a podcast with these guys if we haven't even sat down to see if it's viable yet? How to make it happen? How to make it work? We haven't. So why talk about it publicly? Boogie apparently chose to talk about it publicly first. Uh oh. So now people are asking me all about it. So I wanted to tell you my perspective, what's going on. Again, as long as this is a show that's not going to be 100% about degrading ourselves, catering to trolls, but instead having a fun show that's maybe about three guys talking about games and pop culture and life in general and news. And yes, it's okay to razz yourself and to make fun of yourself, but at the same time, not to be 100%, you know, toxic. What, what also makes this fun is that Keemstar legitimately considered inviting DSP to something like this, to some sort of a... You know, some some format like this, where the whole point is that it's three losers, and one of them is is so in denial about being a loser, he actually thinks he's a winner. And uh, Keemstar thought that this would actually be possible. It's hilarious, right? I'd be down for that. So it would be down for that. I would welcome something like that. I think the 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 best joke that they could pull would be to make it seem like. It's a, it's like a super official, super serious podcast, and he goes there thinking that it's like the top of the top, and then kind of in like a, some I, I don't even know how to call it, man. Some like new age humor. They try and twist it into it being lol cow stuff without him noticing. So it would be like, hey Phil, we hit a hundred likes, dude. It's time for all of you guys to blow to blow bubbles, and then you you end up doing lol cow stuff without even knowing. Most of my content's just me talking directly to my audience or to myself. So to actually have a nice interaction with a couple of other gentlemen, I think would be pretty cool. All right, just being honest. Now, the last part of this puzzle is that tonight, as I'm streaming Oblivion, someone asked me the boogie question and I basically gave the answer I just gave, just not in as much detail. All of a sudden, someone starts posting up in my chat tonight. Oh, Keemstar just tweeted, D DSP is off the lol cow cast because he's not responding. <laughs> yeah, to he, no, no, it's not that. Uh, Keemstar tweeted that he kicked DSP out of the podcast, which was absolutely hilarious. He said, DSP is now kicked out of the podcast. I want to find that tweet because that, that was a great tweet, man. And now that we have a, how do I contact Sunny V2? Uh, I don't know. Why? Yeah, this is it. DSP has been kicked off the lol cow podcast for not responding to emails. Wings and Boogie need a third host. I suggest Tommy C. And Tommy C doesn't fit. He doesn't fit. They need somebody like real trashy. What the fuck are you talking about? Have I not made it abundantly clear on the Side Scrollers podcast? In my own content, after the fact, I have publicly stated time after time after time after time, I want no involvement whatsoever with Keemstar. Zero. <laughs> I don't want to be told about him. I don't want to be in content with him. I don't want to have any business relationship. I want to. Why are you making this drama mind. video, you fucking dumbass? Why are you feeding him with videos like this? Period. I have no desire to have any. This is so stupid. It's the internet. Just block him. Block him, ban him from your chat, and shut the fuck up. And then he doesn't exist. Just do this and he doesn't exist. You fucking idiot. With this man. It's like Keemstar is showing to his door, man. Any of his businesses at all. Uh, now, he's tried to come he, on He has no idea how the fuck the internet works. I streams and derail them with his multiple YouTube accounts. Multiple accounts. He's, he's socking. He's socking, dude. <laughs> tried to tweet me they're blocked i don't want anything to do with this good then shut Seriously, up about him done because it sounds like if you blocked him everywhere and you're still bothered it sounds like he's living in your head that's what it sounds like my time talking about keemstar so the guys tweeting 
DSP is out of the lolcow cache because he's not responding to emails. I was never in the lolcow cache, you tremendous egotistical brain dead idiot. <laughs> what? And then he calls him a brain dead idiot. Dude, yeah, tell me how much you're not triggered. Tell me how much you don't care. Come on, man, tell me, please. Keep telling me how you don't care. You fucking red dead fucking idiot, fucking idiot. The lolcow cache, because he's not responding to emails. I was never in the lolcow cache, you tremendous egotistical brain dead idiot. What the fuck are you tweeting about? You're a moron. I was never on it and never wanted to be and never will be involved with you in a business capacity. You're not. Business capacity. All right. So I have no idea what that tweet even So meant. good, dude. It has nothing whatsoever to do with me. It's probably just another publicity stunt that he's trying to pull to get it. They should get, dude, they should get Frank Castle to go on his ass. They should get Frank Castle to go after DSP. That shit is going to be prime time content. And cause drama for me. <laughs> oh, man. Care. All right, let this video clear the air. I have no involvement with him and have no plans to ever again. If I never have to mention the guy again, that's great. But no, you don't him, have to keep bringing me up and it'll have to come up again at some point just to clear the air that things haven't changed. But in the meantime, but bro, if things haven't changed, then just make your statement once ban him, block him and shut the fuck up. Oh, DSP. Yeah, you can get sued for this, but go off. Nah, he's not getting sued for this. Maybe he could. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, what is it, slander? But sure. <laughs> I'd love to see that if Keemstar is like, you know what, I'm gonna sue your ass. Because he knows DSP is broke. He can't fight that. If anything, he's gonna go even more broke. He's gonna lose his house trying to fight a, a slander suit what against Keemstar. Keemstar. Building a mansion in Phil's head. Oh, yeah, Keemstar, he's already there, dude. He's, he's giving rooms for rent. Inside of DSP's head, rent free. Doing a podcast with Boogie and Wings in some capacity in the future, I think it would be something interesting. At it's least not going to be interesting. Committing to it, but finding out how it would work. No, your idea for that podcast sucks ass, and nobody would fucking care. His idea is a little bit better. It's not really, really realistic because you would never agree to it. But it's a better idea. But your idea for a podcast, it sucks donkey balls. And exactly, you know, how could we make it happen? What would be the premise of the show? My my question really is, how would it work? Because don't you need like a host? Wouldn't you need a host to direct the show, to direct what? the topics and all of that? Aren't you a professional podcaster? Find another person? Would it be how much money has this dude made off of podcasting? Literal tens of thousands of dollars, maybe even hundreds, if we count hate live. Hundreds of thousands. Aren't you a professional podcast host? Aren't you getting people sucking your dick in chat about how good you are at talking on the mic? You can't do that. You can't direct a conversation with two 400 pound fat ass bitches. You can't do that. One of us, you know, I'd be down for that. I would be down. down. He wants everybody else to do all the effort to do everything else. Also not involving Keemstar and he just wants to show up and get paid. That's what he wants. Very awesome be the host whatever you know but that's those are the kind of discussions we have to have amongst ourselves and figure out the format and go from there which we haven't done yet um you know so i think it's silly first of all i'll be honest i do think it was silly that boogie brought it up because i think it's too early that was silly. I think it's way too early to bring it up we haven't early. even sat down ourselves and had the conversation why is he publicly talking about it i think that is of course jumping the gun a bit bro like this dude is so triggered every time somebody talks about something publicly because he's so fucking terrified and paranoid and then he wants to tell you he's a transparent honest guy and expect you to believe him awesome yes yes you you are the law core you, you are, are the law DSP. you right pointing finger that was a great segment you're the law cow you're gonna get oh, man. Big and you're gonna get people talking about it when we don't have anything to offer yet, okay? When we do hey, big ups, um, the Decepticon gang. After this stream, we're going right back, so get ready. Um, right now, and by the way, nothing may happen at all either, and that's maybe fine nothing's too. gonna I'm happen. Cool with making my own content on my own channels, I bro. Nothing's gonna happen. happen. That's never gonna change. But he, this dude, by by every indication, by every instance of anything that's ever happened has presented himself as someone that you don't want to work with you don't want to work with this guy he's inconsistent he's unreliable he's toxic and he's going to end up shitting shitting on you down the line at some point you don't want to work with this guy and many companies have found this out all of his sponsors have realized this uh twitch realized it 
Blip realized it. Curse Machinima realized it. You just don't want to work with this guy. That's why he's on level one. You don't want to work with guys who want to stay on level one. You always got to look at positive, positive possibilities for improvement, growth, change, and potential. I do absolutely feel there is potential of us to do a show together of some sort, but we need to have those conversations before we promise people that it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And no, I absolutely positively will not be involved in anything with Keemstar involvement, period. So if Keem tries to stick his nose into it, he's done. I'm done. I'm, I'll tap right out of it and say, screw this. I'm not involved in everything up to this point. <laughs> Look at him, by the way, in his chat. Oh, wow. What a fucking toxic piece of shit. At, hey, Mike, change your name. A at Mike Litoris or say goodbye. Tired of looking at it. So triggered of somebody having a name in chat. Yeah, it's a joke name. It's literally Mike Litoris. Obviously. I'm tired of looking at it. Bro, aren't you a little bit special? Are you the fucking FBI? Are you Obama? Are you Joe Byron? Shout out Joe Byron. The goat. Do, do, do. The goat at whatever. Whatever. Joe Byron. He will not be involved, and that's why I even entertained it. Um, and that's not changing. Okay? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's the first time DSP found one. The Mike Litterus. That's the first time he found him. And it took him a while. Because Mike... Oh, yeah, did Mike get leaned? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Rip. Rip Michael. Michael Litterus. Here lies Michael Litterus. All right. I, I mean, I hope that explains everything. I don't. What a positive see dude. Any more confusion at this point? That's what a where positive I am dude. With um, and I, you know, I hope that these guys, Boogie and Wings, are both safe and have a good fight and, and are okay. I don't support the fight whatsoever. I think it's dumb, but at the same time, she I think it's dumb. That guys, that they okay. should have just stayed at home and begged, like Phil. All right. And done a fake podcast where they just talk about themselves to themselves and tell people that they're loving it. After it. And I hope that we can sit down and, uh, and start talking about the future after. All right? So the sooner the dumb fight ends, the better. The dumb fight. we can talk about actually interesting positive stuff actually. in the future and not the, <laughs> the dumb fight to begin with. That shouldn't really be happening. So, uh, guys, that's man. it from my perspective. I hope that clears the air. All right, guys? Thank you so very much. He, he has no idea how much of a loser he makes himself look, at, look, look like after these encounters. Because this, like, if it was back in the days of uh, when he was shit-talking people on the Shoryuken forums or on the King of Hate forums, you would somehow understand. He was like late 20s, early 30s, you know, early internet edgelord shit poster dude. Now he is supposed to be the opposite and he's still acting like a little cucked bitch. He's still acting like, like this toxic piece of shit. Man, it's truly, truly like the, the DNA of a loser. You know how they say he got the dog in him? He got a bitch in him. He got the sway in him. Sway. Un un unwavering sway. Uh, but the Derek is here. Of course Derek is here. The chap is here. Obviously. He is back. Uh, because today we're going to be watching his videos. So there we go. Anyways. Uh, we should begin shortly because uh, Sway is now late. He is late to being late because his stream has been live for literally 20 minutes. Tell me who else runs music for 20 minutes. Oh, we're starting, of course, with this awesome song. Who else runs music for 20 minutes? Who? Who does this? What a fucking disappointment. He's like a refined disappointment. Refined to perfection. Everything he does is disappointing in some way. Uh, let's look at Twitter. I don't know. We got like five seconds left. Hello, everyone. On today's show, we'll hype up my weekly React stream over on DSP React. <laughs> as the well hype as show. A follow-up to last night's discussion about the possible podcast. Are you serious? All this and more on today's Dude, podcast. Dude, you fucking yeah, piece of shit. Wait, wasn't the, the video supposed to be the all the discussion? Who's making bread and what does Phil have? Derek, please say my name. I mean, yeah, DSP. All all DSP has at this point is just LARPers and actual Dan heads. But are, are we really going to have a follow-up? You just said you never want to talk about it ever again. But now we, we're talking about it again. We're going to have a dedicated segment to this. For real. And yeah, this is the intro. It's fucking ass. Yes. 
All right, everyone, good morning and welcome to the show. Today is Saturday, the 6th of May, 2023, and I hope you're all doing well. Um, and by the way, I hope you're all having a good weekend. I hope I find you healthy and happy. And if not, then hopefully today's show will do something about that and maybe cheer you up. Uh, it's going to make you healthy. We are having <laughs> or happy a discussion about a little bit of a follow-up. All right. Really? And uh, what do we have more to talk about? We have an idiot spamming the chat, so I'm just going to go ahead and ban them. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Uh, we have a little bit of a follow-up regarding last <laughs> night's discussion of uh, oh, somebody got know, a podcast, which is hilarious because when I, when I basically talk about it fully on today's show, because now we can do it because it's a podcast, um, and I basically put it to bed, uh, finally we'll have So to the video is worthless, basically. About it it's so stupid. But you're going to see that all this nonsense that, that I get pulled into, I literally have nothing to do with. What? Like, you know, it's always people trying to pull me into their vortex of drama and nonsense. And I have no desire to do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I want nothing to do with it. I just want to be here every day with you guys, making fun content, enjoying the discussions we have, enjoying the gameplay I put out, enjoying the react stuff I do, and all that. Right? Uh, if I wanted to choose a good song to hype people up, so basically the way I choose I playing with power. T J Perkins old WWE entrance theme. Time, man. Yeah, big ups, uh, time. big ups T J Perkins. He used to dab a lot. Uh, I don't think people like that very much. Exploding in popularity and going big virally ups, uh, popular, or making tons of money or anything like that. And everyone knows that because I've said it over and over and over. But then you get people who kind of keep trying to bring me into their nonsense. He literally has nothing to do with it, but talks about it more than anybody else. Nonsensical bullshit, and I'm done with it now officially. Okay. And we'll talks talk about, about it the most out of everybody else. A, a, and he has nothing to do with it. Why are you talking about it so much? Discussion that I had last night in a very brief video. It was about a 15 minute long video. Oh, it's brief? 15 minutes me is brief? Stream last night of Oblivion. We'll talk about really? this. Um, about stuff I didn't even know about. I'm like, I don't know what's going on with this. Again, it's never anything I'm involved with. Why are you making videos it's about stuff you know nothing about? Me about it, then I get pulled into it and I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of being pulled into bullshit. Um, and today I'm gonna just end it on the show, so that way we end it today. I thought the video was to end it, Phil. Right, I thought that enough. was the idea of that was to end so it'll it. It'll be a good closure discussion on all of that, so we can move forward <laughs> positively. Uh, today's my react day, and now he's gonna Every tell you everything he's gonna Saturday. talk about on the show. He's gonna Major talk about show. those things. You uh, realize how uh, stupid this is? You know, me reacting to clips as submitted. It's by like the news. The news the starts react. right. The and news the starts, show. and they're gonna tell you, okay, today we're gonna talk about. Um, there was a fucking celebration of Cinco de Mayo yesterday and all of the 15 topics and then they start talking about them. We're not going to go. I, I think I've, it's been many weeks that I keep telling people I'm not interested. Yeah, in that Lyle chair Kyle is going stuff. crazy. Keep sweating. Posting up Lolcow clips. Sweat. There's people posting up now like sexual clips and stuff like yeah. that. And it's no like, Lolcow right. clips. Today on that show, we're definitely going to lay down the law. Laying down uh, the so law. People understand. Tell what, what your paying what customers should be posting, dude. Um, before people try to Come pull on. in directions, it's not supposed to go, all right? And it's not to say that I'm not uh, open to reacting to a certain kind of content, but if I've already reacted to it, and it wasn't very good, and I wasn't interested in it, then why are you gonna keep posting up the same stuff? It doesn't seem to make sense, right? This is all pay to please well, Phil. Was really good. He's like I the opposite of a prostitute. Of of you pay to please him. Do you realize how stupid this is? You pay to send him a video that he should like. And each segment, because I, I put it up to like 20 to 25 minute segments, had like one really good standout clip that I reacted to and I really felt like it was entertaining. Very entertaining. One of the most entertaining ones I'd ever done. Uh, this week, you know, it'll remain to be seen because I haven't watched all the clips yet. But you know, going through the playlist last night, I can definitely tell you there was some stuff there that you can tell people are like, haha, let's get them with this one or whatever. And it's like, it's not the point of the show. All right. But anyway, I'm excited to, to do the show every week. It's fun. It's a good variety show. It splits up the content rather than it just being about gameplay. Having that variety is very nice. And uh, I'm looking forward to that today. So as usual, we're going to have our full podcast here today. And I hope that you guys will stick with me and join me for it. Uh, and then after that, we're going to move over to DSP Reacts to do a fun react show. And I hope that you will join me for that as well. Oh, right? yes, we will. So we will return back here for gameplay on the late stream. All right. So... Good stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. By the way, I guess happy Coronation Day 
If you live in the UK, I believe that King Charles out. is now being coronated. King although Charles. technically hasn't he already the king of kind of been positivity. the king for a while now since the queen passed away. I guess today it's just official. Although that's really weird too because isn't it true that he doesn't actually have any political? So wow, uh, how is he the king? I'm just I don't know. In the United States, and I'll listen. Our stuff over here is just as stupidly confusing and weird, but. It just kind of makes me scratch my head when they still have a monarchy in the UK when it doesn't actually control the country, then what's the point of the monarchy? It's like, oh, it's there are, it's like our real life re reality celebrities. What? Like, yeah, reality celebrity stuff is stupid. <laughs> I'm like, it's dumb. It's right? just like, calling the, the king and the and queen of England and stupid. Country, I swear, yeah, I'm fucking they stupid. <laughs> subsidize the lives of this, this world. This dude, man, we're not even like five, five minutes into, into this. Into He's already calling die. shit they stupid for no reason. It's like you're subsidizing that with like your taxes. What are you talking about? What a positive and nice podcast. What a positive moment. We tackle a lot of cultures and things and content that I cover that I really don't understand. Uh, if you guys over there across the pond are happy with the way that things are going, then good for you. Enjoy it. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and poop on it. Just saying, I don't get it. You it's already did, though. You but, just um, called them stupid. Yeah. Anyway, happy Coronation Day. I don't know what that means for many of you, if it's like a special day or not. I don't think it's they got gas in Minecraft. Sides. Like Some people are like, oh my god. Think you like can redstone them. You can get redstone. We'll remember forever, and others are like, yeah don't really care it's pretty stupid so <clears throat> it's pretty stupid it's all fucking stupid things they don't understand are just stupid anyway that's how cat would react to the show everything. everyone so yeah today is saturday how does taxes uh, work do. i don't Let fucking know schedule for the rest of the uh, i guess they're just you stupid know what's going on then we will address the big topic which is nonce. this whole <laughs> it's a joyful nonce <laughs> i'm pretty much done with it at this point um, and then we can move oh, there on goes, to, man. That's a positive um, basically message. just kind of open Q&A and discussion. I looked for some gaming news this morning. I saw none. Uh, there was no really gaming going news. on in, in the realm of gaming news today. So uh, instead, we'll probably just do some open Q&A and a, a chill session before we move over to do my weekly react stuff. Okay? Cool. Um, all right. So schedule-wise, obviously, I've already told you, after this podcast ends, we're all going to move okay. to DSP. Yeah, you, you told us like four times already, show. bro. Where I'm reacting to the clips Four that times. have nominated. Uh, a good variety of stuff. You know, Ultra members guaranteed to get their clips watched. And Standard members all competing. I think, I want to say this week, there was like over 60 nominations. But I had to eliminate a few. Because like I said, some people just are, are basically either not paying attention to the show. They're deleting. All, they're not paying attention to I'm the saying, show. Or they're purposely bro. trying to do stuff. Or they're that, trying to troll. You know, but they're, they're paying you anyway. It's on there. It's not going to work. Like I said. If you've nominated this, this is so stupid four weeks in a row, and I've purposely skipped it, there's probably a good reason. Uh, you got at some point you gotta like use your brain, dude. I guess, but some people don't. Uh, let me just keep. He's telling people that are paying him to be no, members I'm to use their brain. I thought you had a curated uh, audience, know, loser. Out to the person. Thought it was a curated audience of intelligent sense. humans. Um, what happened? I guess some people don't. I don't know. I guess they're idiots the now. Part, most of the clips were fine, and it's gonna be a good show. It usually is a good show, good variety <laughs> show. I enjoy doing it. It really is. You know, one of the major reasons uh, why that channel works, go. because as I told you guys, the vast majority of content that I put out on DSP Reacts isn't really monetizable. You know, this show I'm doing today is not monetizable. I can't have ads for. running on any Yeah, videos. rip, uh, rip lawnmower, content. man. We missed and the nine times out of ten, the video. Even though it was annoying as fuck. So it's not like I'm making. So are we? So we we begging now? Memberships. That's You're shilling memberships right. after just telling the members that they're not doing a, a good enough job. It's serious. membership to an ultra membership if you're a This is why he's the apex lolcow. He's the apex lolcow. This is the one thing he's actually good at is being a lolcow, and he's not even trying. He's a natural. Uh, the tier maker stuff, that stuff is definitely monetizable. What right? a god. So, there is some ad revenue to be had, just not a lot. It's more about the membership buy-in, okay? And also, the membership buy-in. the stream. So, for example, this is if the kind of shit you shouldn't stuff, say. Support today's react stream, all right? That's a great way to do it, is if that stream does well, that helps the channel continue to be successful, okay? Okay, so we're going to do that. Right after this show, you're going to see a pop-up on your screens. If you're here live, it'll say, hey, head over to DSP Reacts, and we'll all go over there, and we'll have a fun show this afternoon. Uh, later tonight, on the late stream, uh, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, it will be the continuation of Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster. And get this, we are heading into the biggest, most exciting part of the game, in my opinion. Like, there's a really epic part that we're about to engage with that is super-duper fun. And it actually has some of the best music of the entire game as well. 
So I'm excited for this segment. Um, I hope that you guys will join me tonight. If, if you've played Final Fantasy V, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. It's super good. And uh, so, awesome, right? I'm excited for this, and uh, I hope that you guys will join me tonight on the late stream for Retro Fun. Now, tomorrow is Sunday Retro at 7. Retro Fun. Are you guys only excited? Doing one stream. It's going I'm pretty to be sure you are. Podcast you can't not be excited. Star Wars Jedi Survivor continuing on. Uh, it looks like we're actually going to leave <laughs> this channel of Kobo, or channel, excuse me, this planet of Kobo, which we've been on for a planet while. Planet of Kobo. to whatever the next part of the game is. Uh, I think Kobo is going to be like our... our hey, our Fox Kobo News. For the rest of the we game. have a replacement for Tucker Carlson. DSP asking the hard questions, answering with it's stupid. <laughs> the act of the show coming soon. Oh, man. Hey, Phil, what do you think about the, the inflation, dude? What do you think about the, the, the rise in student, in student debt? Um, I, I, I don't think, like, I don't, I don't know. I think it's stupid. I think it's just stupid, man. Fingers they should just stop doing it. Literally every possible thing. All right. Base. Things go according to plan. This month, I will not be missing out on any more streams. You know, I missed out on Tuesday for bad reasons. Uh, I can't stream tomorrow night. Okay. For, you know, private react. For good reasons. reasons. But I'm hoping that nothing else. Private happens, react I reasons. On normally for the rest of the month. Uh, <laughs> private case, react I mean, reasons. Time double streams, <laughs> but. You never know what's going to happen with life, but, you know, again, you, I'll let you know as far ahead of time as I can if something's going to be different. Uh, I'm hoping for the best, all right? Because I would really like to have a really solid month. We've got so much going on this month. Continuing playthroughs, React fun, new games coming out. I was Doom month. Train so, uh, 84 for the sub, for you. I want to be able to put out the consistent content that you know me Baller for, alert. all right? We'll see what happens with that. Consistent uh, content you know and time. love. So it's going to be a double stream day, level one podcast, followed by Elden Ring, and, uh... Right now in Elden Ring, we're certainly at an interesting part. We just got to the end of Volcano Manor and started fighting Rikert, who basically is going to, I think, be one of the hardest bosses in the game for me with my build this time around because I am a mage build, right? I am a crystal, or excuse me, a uh, crystal mage meth. build. And the problem crystal with that is mage. I basically made myself a glass cannon. I do tons of damage. What is a glass cannon, Phil? Tell us. Well, this boss is a ginormous boss that's very hard to dodge all his attacks. Why? What, case, what's the point of saying glass cannon when I every time you've got to explain what it means? I can't survive one hit from this boss. I don't have enough health. So we're at a point where I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, I'll try. But if I try for like 20, 30 minutes and I'm making zero headway, I, I'm probably just not going to fight him now. I'll have to move on with the game and do other content and maybe come back later on in the game and figure out a way. But I can't. it doesn't seem like I can do it right now. Um, <clears throat> you know, and that's the, the difference between runs is during your, you know your build or whatever can definitely determine how difficult a certain enemy is like the god skin guys the big the big chubby god skin uh sentinel guys those guys are tough now you know and in the first playthrough they were easy and now they're actually quite tough so uh yeah there's not much i could really say besides We'll, we'll find out on Monday, and if it doesn't work, we'll go do other content, and then maybe we'll come back to it later. All right, I'm already getting advice. Mr. Whisker says, you get more vigor or try using the Rock Sing spell. He's right already right being handheld. So there you Holy go. Holy shit. I, I was under the impression Holy shit. that you already. can't really beat Did Phil Riker ever why he missed without Tuesday? the spear. Uh, he he didn't. The gimmick weapon, you have nah, to he didn't. fight. And no, well, he said it was he bad reasons, like, and he said that it was really tough, and he suffered a lot. From anything else, so like, like, it's probably health related. Remember, Most probably. Dark Souls Three. There's the giant. Most probably. Uh, if I had to like actually bet money on it, I would say health. No damage. You could beat him, but it takes like an hour. Or you use the special sword. What is it? That and and, and then you can hit him. Same thing in, in uh, Demon Souls. Remember in Demon Souls, there was the giant flying enemies, and there was really no way to hit them. Right, and then you had to use the special again, the special sword, Stormbreaker, or whatever, to hit them out of the air. Like this, that's exactly what this fight is. It's a gimmick fight, right? So you kind of have to do. I that. I think but this is a gimmick right stream. I'm suggesting, why don't you respec? You have larval tears. Go respec your character. Get a ton of vigor. Beat them, beat them, and then come back. You know, do it again. You're right. We could do that. So maybe we'll do that. We'll see. We'll figure it out on Monday. All right. And then Monday night is something special. Monday night we're going to do something that you guys have been waiting for for several weeks, and we're finally doing it again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a tier maker late night chill oh, stream. the tier maker. Over That's going to be awesome. Apps, we're going to be ranking. Get this. This is a great idea someone came up with yesterday. The Zelda games. Why are we ranking Zelda games? Because 
Zelda Tears of the Kingdom comes uh, out. What's on my t-shirt? So what better time to hype up Zelda than with some a random uh, helmets now, and road signs and stuff like that? It's just like, like some I would say random every pattern. Console I don't know. Game I've played. I have not played many or any of the handhelds, so it's going to be hard because some of those I'm just going to have to abstain from. But I think we'll still talk about them. Like what I'd like to do is talk to my audience live and say, "Hey, what did you guys think about?" For example, the Minish Cap, or is it Minish Cap? I don't even know how to say it. I never played the game. Um, and see, do you guys like it? How would you rank it, right? But we'll have those conversations. But for me, as you know, if I didn't play a game, I kind of have to abstain from it. But I have played every mainstream Zelda, the original NES, the sequel. We just played the sequel last year, right? Uh, what is it? Uh, Adventure of Link. Uh, Link to the Past. Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. Wind Waker. Twilight Princess. Skyward Sword, Breath of the Kingdom. Breath of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild. That's covered every major console one, correct? I didn't forget any major console ones when I was mentioning those, did I? It's pronounced Minish? Okay. I'm not they're gonna gonna, they're gonna have them in the tier list. It's I don't know why you need to Minish Cat. Alright. I, I don't know why you need to list them now. Okay. Cool. Now, I know there's been a bunch of other handheld ones. The one handheld one I did play was the one that they ported to console. What was it called? Link's Awakening? I think it was called Link's Awakening, correct? And that one is very similar to Link to the Past, I would say. Um, so, definitely that one I'll rank as well. But, for example, yes, like, Anzo Kamara says, what about Spirit Tracks? Never played Spirit Tracks. Four Swords Adventure. Classic. Never played, never played it. So I can't rank ones I haven't played, but again... Does he hate Zelda? Does he hate Zelda, or so, he just hates Nintendo? I think, it'll be a fun I think he hates one Nintendo, because they're experience. really tough on copyright, so and they're Japanese. Last time I did one of these where we ranked fast food chains. You guys absolutely loved it, and I think that this is going to be uh, pretty much just as good. Um, hopefully. And plus, it's, it's topical. It's, it has to do with Zelda coming out that Friday. Yeah, what's up, so uh, just Jeremy? Me. My weekend's right. been pretty chill, man. For that Monday night on DSP React. Relaxing, and interacting, we'll more hanging out with the girlfriend. And Tuesday night, we'll probably continue on with Oblivion. It's chill fun. DLC. And then and we get to wrap Saturday up the Saturday okay. with the uh, drinking um, games over on the Decepticon now, stream. This coming week will be an interesting balance because we, I'm going to continue on, obviously, with Jedi Survivor and Elden Ring. But now we've got Zelda in the mix, too. So now we've got three different games that I'm going to be playing at once. That's when things are going to get tough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Whenever I'm juggling this many games... He's juggling games. Get rough. So it gets we're going to really have to focus in and see... Like, it's rough we, when there are not enough uh, games kind of coming out, and it's rough when there's too many Honestly, games coming out. You know, It's never so perfect. Far, Nothing is ever perfect for him. That's, that's one of his Elden gimmicks. Ring, Nothing is ever long. perfect. And Zelda or, or even long. like satisfactory. So we're essentially talking about juggling three incredibly long games... Uh, I am going to be playing Zelda all day long on its release Zelda date, both streams, to get a good thing. a good tear into it. Um, <laughs> but outside of that, I just <laughs> well, maybe you did, yeah. Out, you know? I don't, um, uh, I, I don't pay attention to that that much. If we feel like I'm not playing enough of the new releases, I could suspend Elden Ring. I could suspend the Oblivion playthrough as well. I mean, that's one that always was meant to be a long, a long form kind of downtime playthrough, and maybe we suspend it and we start using a, every other night stream. Oh. He to play one of the, uh, the games PJ's as well to make more team. progress. I would the Zelda play. PJ pants? Well, they're not a, an entry in the gaming... Uh, in, in the gaming... Um, fucking collection. They're a, an entry in the clothing line. He needs to rank all the clothing that he has with like all his gaming clothes. We need to pull him up. That would be hilarious. There's a, a supposedly a new amnesia game called uh, The Bunker this month. I haven't even heard anything about it. Like I heard it's coming out and that's it. So that's kind of weird. Like, you would think if it was a, ham uh, a hype new Amnesia game, everyone likes Amnesia. What? Why is there no... Uh, amnesia hasn't been so hyped weird. since A uh, Machine for Picks, I'll dude. To try to, you know, listen a little bit more for it or whatever. Uh, and then we've got... Um, coming out later in the month, this Lord of the Rings Gollum game. But I also don't know if that's anything that's going to be good. Again, <laughs> Wait, who is giving me shout-outs in chat and really people being confused? What is going on with modern games? Because Edward Sp Spaghettiword says, who the fuck is Meerkat? Literally no he is literally turned into the pastor, around. dude. Like Meerkat Ma. Who? Right, who? Right? So, I guess we'll have to see. I don't know. I'm uh, confused a little bit about the games for the rest of the month. It seems like June is packed. 
right? June like, is back. It's going to be crazy. No, the, the Gollum game Street, is going to be ass, Diablo dude. 4, and Final Fantasy 6. The Gollum game is going to be trash. Games, that's a crazy month. I'm but calling it. Stuff in between. We got all the it's not really that hard to call. Come on. I'm not Microsoft flexing. And Sony and the Starfield blowout. Like, all this is happening in June. So June is going to be like this exciting kick-in month for gaming. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? Anyway. Um, also, remind, remember, this month, coming up on May 21st, we have finally figured this out. Sunday, May 21st, is DSP's Fight and Feast. No. The Street Fighter Hype. I thought it was Fight and Bites, That's what but I forgot. It. I got okay. brain damage What's from all be? that uh, discussions about it yesterday. I'm still recovering. Themed, no amount of alcohol could have done to me what to this discussion yesterday did. Six, that shit was second. so fucking so bad. Include well, fight and Bites? Should it be uh, Fight and Smites? Or maybe it should be Smite and Mites. DSP's Phil's Mills and Pills. Dills and Bills. Trills and Chills. Okay? In addition, we're going to do multiple tier makers that are going to be fighting game related. Maybe we'll rank fighting game franchises. Excuse me. Maybe we'll rank Street Fighter games against each other. Maybe we'll rank individual fighters from the games. We'll see. But sounds pretty fun. You guys like the tier maker stuff. And since we're doing one on Monday, then we'll wait two weeks and then we'll do more during that event. It'll space it out enough that it won't feel like I'm overdoing it. Um, in addition, I'm going to be trying out Cuisine from the Street Fighter cookbook. My wife is gonna make several different- uh, <laughs> And Derek, you know, Derek is now giving shout outs to the checkmark salmon chat. He's cloud chasing a checkmark dude. Hey Phil, thank you to the Steely Sam, the the Steely Sam for coming up with the name. The Derek is like the most attention starved child I've ever seen in my life. This dude at this point, should be fun and I don't know, man. Somebody okay. send him an escort, please. Now, please, please. Talk about my wife. Would you do? A Please. WWE 2K Battle Royale with all created fantasy characters from Street Fighter. And I thought about it. I was like, you know, I'd like to do it, but I'm thinking in my head, what Street Fighter characters have kind of been put into WWE 2K games? Well, Ryu and Ken, Guile. No, Zangie, stop doing the Battle Royales. They're stupid. Like They're really stupid and Warriors, pointless. And They're fundamentally there. pointless. But I was thinking about it. I'm like, well, the Battle Royale is 30 players, and the problem is... It's not. You can do a 10, 20, or 30. gender Battle Royales. So it has to be all guys or all women. It's like, well, that's tough. When you're splitting down half that, like, there'd be no Chun-Li. You can do a, an no eight-man eight battle, no eight eight battle royal. Rose. There'd be no jury. There'd be. You, you know can do I mean? a war game, but you, you don't have that game, so you Street can't. Over the years in there. And so, uh, you know, thinking about it, I'm like, well, it wouldn't really work then, right? I was like, well, what if we do a battle royale that has other fighting game characters too? What if we include characters from Mortal Kombat and Tekken? that are both game franchises that are coming up this year, maybe then it would work. So let me put it this way. I'm open to the suggestion. If you guys think it's something you'd like to see during that marathon, let me know. But I don't want to commit to it unless you guys are absolutely sold that it would work. So let me know if you'd be interested in no. a fantasy battle royale that has all fighting no, that characters sucks. from different franchises. Um, but I, you know, we don't have to do it at all. You know what I mean? So there you go. Um, we'll see. But anyway, I'm excited for this. This should be a great, uh, a great day of celebration and fun, all relating to fighting games, which will be great because I haven't done anything with fighting games uh, for a very long time now. And this you shouldn't. Great. You should stay away from them for a very long so time. Good stuff in the that's future. coming up later this month. The only thing we really need to determine for this month at this point: Am I going to do any kind of a long form react event? Um. By at the end of the month, every month since I started DSP Reacts, I've been doing a long form react event. The first month I did the Pro Jared documentary. <laughs> apparently, I want to do a collaboration podcast, and Phil should email me. Apparently, but I guess he's talking about somebody marathon. else. That's not me. So, do you we never heard me say this publicly? This obviously. Now, yesterday I released a video on DSP Reacts, essentially a three month summary. Apparently, of what I did I think that. About but I, I would do a podcast with Phil. And I would pretend like I, I don't know anything about it. I've gotten a lot of feedback already. Like, so Phil, right? Here's uh, what's, what's with all the again. haters, dude? What's what's up with that? DSP versus the internet is a fun concept, but it's kind of disjointed, and a lot of people... Nah, I never want to talk to him. It, seems to be like it would ruin my immersion. Because I, I don't even, like, believe that he's real. I don't want to know that he's real. Know that he's real. I'm used to seeing him in my screen, in this shitty layout, and he's like a reality show character. If I talk to him, then he's real. That's the point of the show. can't do that. 
But a lot of people are of the impression that the show is too disjointed, it's too random, and quite frankly, there's a lot of people who submit the same kind of clips every week, and because of that, it gets stale. Oh, and now we're crying about his audience not providing him with enough quality content. Last week, we had a good, perfect mix of variety where it was like, okay, we had a food clip, but then we had a Yeah, he's the, he's the VTuber with a fairly realistic looking avatar. That's exactly what he is. Like a comedy video. He's a VTuber. And then it was, the it was something different, like almost the entire show last week was variety and it worked well. I think what happens is people see one video and say, oh, that worked. And immediately 10 more people must submit the same kind of video. Thinking, well, if that clip worked, mine will too. Bro, those well, people, they don't so. watch all your I shit, man. Really Not even the, the trolls the watch all this shit. Is good and they variety. hate watch them. And Having hate watching them is far uh, more enjoyable than actually unironically variety watching Variety of stuff. So there's nothing wrong with a and ironically video, watching it. You got to pretend like it's fun the same when it's objectively every not every single week. Then it can get stale. You understand? So that's what I'm. Thinking. I think Slayer you know, at some, some point. Yeah, like Slayer is gonna get the lean in manual at some point. Not banned, but he's gonna be show. having a, a stern so, talking to. We'll see. Again, today we're gonna see when we do it. What works? What doesn't? Like I said, after three months, I really felt like last week's show was one of the best, if not the best. We'll see how it works today. Like I said, I'll be honest with you. Today, there was some stuff uh, that I know for a fact people put in there to try to, like, cause problems. And we'll talk about it when the show airs, you know, after what? this podcast, okay? Hmm, so, interesting. there you go. Um, <clears throat> what can I say? Um, so, yeah. Uh, what do you have to do to please this motherfucker? Uh, give him money, no strings like attached, and tell him I, that you love him. They are. They're saying that's, that's the like only way. the movie and TV reviews, but... It's kind of absolutely right. If I'm not reviewing something that's new, like if there's a yeah, Bloom new Kid movie has been out, consistently the worst like chat a, member a that that we got. It's now hot and everyone's talking about it on that a like super review. consistent basis. Like when it, like the what, I was reviewing the Last of Us show. That's how this whole thing started on DSP Reacts. Me re reacting to the Last of Us show. So what's the next hot show coming out? Right? What is? I don't it? know. Breaking Bad. That's what we need to know. Breaking Bad well, what's the 2. Next video that's going to be on demand that people will want to see me watch and review. If we have those answers, then I can get those on demand services and I can watch that content and re review it for you as those the content releases live. But it doesn't really make sense for me to be, uh, you know, reviewing stuff that's two, three years old or older. I guess what people are saying is uh, that stuff, they kind of, the, the interest has already waned, right? Um, which sucks because, you know, what can I do? I'm at the mercy of what's available on demand. I don't have the freedom every week to run out and see a new movie and spend money. It wouldn't make sense. I'm going to spend more money going out and seeing a movie than I'm ever going to make on one of those videos, you know? Um, uh, that's not really the point. So basically, we you need totally to figure that I out. I love the stream, so here is a tip, dude. Hey, thanks. It's working, dude. Has I should tell you you love the stream way more. For it. Okay. Dungeons and Dragons, where goes. is that? Where is Dungeons and Dragons Where available? What on-demand service? Do I what do I think right of Super have, Crazy planning uh, to sue Phil? HBO Max. Go ahead. Oh, which is soon to be just called Max. Go for it. I have Amazon Video. Good luck. And I have... No, I got rid of Hulu. I've canceled Hulu. Because we weren't even using Hulu. It was just sitting there unused. So I have HBO Max and Amazon. Where is this, uh, you know, D&D &D movie available? If people are interested in Where's that. Where is the movie right? available? Uh, I don't know. Just look it up, dude. Oops, somebody voodoo? getting voodoo. Voodoo. It's on voodoo. What voodoo. Is, so voodoo. <laughs> I voodoo. have voodoo. Oh, he has the it. The reason I have it is because someone donated uh, the whale to me, and that was only available on voodoo. 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 Epic. No one's answering now. So everyone says it's available on demand. I say, okay, how? What is it? And no one's answering. <laughs> Voodoo. Sure. I would be interested in watching the D&D movie. This is such a stupid segment, dude. He's like literally acting like he's panhandling well, on the corner. He got no money to either. watch anything. Um, Can't even watch movies so anymore. The feedback I'm getting is right now, the uh, weekly clip show... First they took away the video the games. Channel, now we can't even watch the movies anymore. That's number one suggestion. Shit sucks. Number two, people are enjoying my reviews, but it should be... It's Prime or Paramount. So it's on Prime Video. Let's check that. Let's check that. There we go. You can check something. That's exciting. Finally. Let's find out. 
Finally, we can check something, you guys. Uh. <sighs> okay. Burnell? Rent or buy? Let's see. How expensive is it? Dude, it's $20 to rent. Sweat. <laughs> That's just as fucking, fucking bad dumbass. as going to the movies. <laughs> it's 20 fucking dollars to rent it. That's then insane. fucking pirate it, dumbass. Pirate. There's pirate. no fucking way I'm spending that much money to see that movie. fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> That's nuts. Wow. <laughs> okay, so Paramount we can just cry about it instead. Like, uh, All right, that's much better. $20. As, as like we can't invest $20 because he wouldn't make $100 back from that review. It's not an investment. Dude, we can't do it. And streaming with simultaneous release price? I didn't even know it was in theaters. You don't even know anything because we you don't care about things. So then you Paramount don't know stuff Plus? about them. Okay. Why are you so I surprised? That. I, I don't have Paramount Plus. He doesn't have it costs something. And all that. There you go. Maybe I would consider getting Paramount Plus for the month. Is there's other content on Paramount Plus as well? You know? All right. Maybe somebody should just fucking donate it like everything else. Let me know. Let's talk if about he, it. If he know, alludes to it enough, eventually somebody's just going to be like, oh, here whatever. Here's, Monday, here's fucking and that's enough content. 20 fucking dollars. Shut the fuck so up. Good. But maybe next week I'd be looking to do it. So maybe let's next talk about week. the worst fucking dude. Get get access you guys want to see really Literally bad. 10 grand a month. Okay. Literally. You know, 10,000 American freedom dollars. The freedom bucks. So anyway, we can't buy a movie. We can't go to the theater. Review, we can't do anything. Movie, it has to be new. Me orders food for like fifty dollars at very, at, very at least returns at that. least fifty dollars a DoorDash new movie or thing that people are really going to care that much. Like for example, when I reviewed The Whale, it had rock! just won Best Actor, you know, at the Academy Awards. You know what I'm saying? So because of that, it was like wow, everyone was interested in my opinion on it, and so that one did well. I kind of get that. Okay. All right. Um. So that's that. Other feedback. People love Tear Maker. Just in general, people are like the Tear Maker stuff you've done on the channel is outstanding so far. Keep doing it. Uh, but also don't do it so often because the more you do it, I was right. Basically, they're like, yeah, do it so that you only do it like once or twice a month. That way, it doesn't feel like Tear Maker overload. If you do it more more often, it's gonna feel like you're flooding the channel with just what's doing so well, and that would make it less exciting or less interesting. So I'll probably do tier makers maybe <clears throat> one or two, you know, uh, a month. I think that makes sense, all right? Now, outside right. of that, the long-form event. Here's where, where people are differing on their opinions. Oh, no. Some people are saying, we love your long-form events. Like, it fucking hurts. Basically, we like... Let's get to the drama. Let's get to talking about Keemstar. Not you and how you have, have nothing to do with anything, but talk about it more than anybody else. He has probably actual multiple hours worth of footage talking about Keemstar. The guy he wants nothing to do with and has nothing going on with. A lot of people say they, they're liking the fact that when I'm reacting, it's different than other God. people. A lot of people just hit play and they laugh and they go, ha ha. We heard word. this the other day, exactly the same thing. Me, because I... Me. I, I have intelligent I content. content. I pause, I talk, I have discussions Whoa. with the audience. We have things going. Whoa, they have things That's going. More than just me. But you hate the things they send you to react to. The video. Isn't that worse than those other people? Doing with the react content from the feedback I'm getting. Again, I don't, know, I don't watch other react content. Yeah, he doesn't know anything, but they're all trash and they all suck. Year, immediately people were like, oh, it's, it's so different. Up. Why are you pausing Endless constantly? Pit. Because that's what you should do. If you have something to say, you don't talk over the next topic in the video. You fucking pause the video. You talk about it so that you can be intelligent. But most people are like, well, no one does that. Why? Who says they this? They don't care about making meaningful content. They care what? about pumping out a quick video that makes them money. <laughs> that's why. I don't care about that. I want to make something meaningful. <laughs> Bro. So people are liking that. The problem is when I'm doing these- You don't want to make fucking meaningful content. Right? Those videos are typically- This is the same dude who doesn't want to go to the cinema because it's too expensive. Now that the week has finally cleared, most Philip of Goldstein. Are more That's his new name. Climbing over time. What's happening is people are still uh, watching. Wheelchair symbol Star of TV, David. Which is good. That helps the channel. The problem is the streams don't do well. When I do these long form react streams, it's now been three months and none of them are doing great. You know, it's actually like a slow day for me on stream when I do it. And that sucks because these days I've set up to have meals and everything, and I'm spending money on that <laughs> stuff. Blown it. And it doesn't seem to be working. I thought out it was meaningful well. though. 
on the street. If it's meaningful and people love it, do, do they not support it? I guess it. not. I like the long form reacts. Keys, please, please keep them. So it's like, man, it's tough. Like, what do I do here? Right? Like, do I not do long form reacts? Or maybe what I do is I stretch it out now and we do a long form react every other month. So, for example, at the end of this, we gotta month, stretch oh, out, cat. Months, we've got a marathon. If it's possible, set up, even you know, DSP's fight and feast, Street Fighter marathon hype event. So maybe that's the thing we do this month, and then maybe next month we do a big react event, and that way it's not like two weekends in a row where we're doing react stuff. In addition, a big thing I just got a big it's been literal forty minutes worth this. of this schedule. Is, this is a big thirty-five minutes. People are saying two days of reacting back to back is too much. Why? So these weekends when I'm doing DSP versus the internet and then the next day I'm doing a long form react, I'm being told that's just way too much, okay? So if I'm gonna do a long form react, essentially I need to split it up. Whether that means I have to change my DSP versus the internet day to be a different day of the week that week, or the long form react is just not the day before or after. Um, but people don't want two days of it in a row. They're like, we get burnt out. It's just too much two days in a row. We would like to have more variety um, in it. And some people said, well, just don't do DSP versus the internet that we can do the long form react. That's not gonna work. You gotta understand people are becoming channel members literally to just suggest videos for the show. I can't just- So you can reject the them and tell them that they're bad and make them feel bad? Long form react and then the members get nothing out of their membership for that. Right. That's, you in business, here's what you can do. In business, business advice with provide. Phil, let's go value and then continue to provide value and add more value whoa subtract value <laughs> but continue with the same cost do you understand what i'm saying so uh, the business way of sway this is more than you can learn from right. any andrew tate course ever twitter had verified status Are you not so then all of a sudden they said so salty about this verified status to keep it, uh, I still haven't decided if I'm Lance or Vance Bill. You get the ability to, but also I agree on on the Letty to, part. I you know, agree. have an incredibly longer post, have unlimited video posts, and all of that. That is a value added for paying. The only reason I'm not doing it is because I don't think I would get any value added from any of those. You see, if Twitter had said we're getting rid of all verified status, you have to pay to get it back, but there's no added features for paying then literally they're taking value away from something that already existed, but they're charging more for it. It doesn't make sense. No one would do it. You understand? So if I'm already charging you guys $4 for a channel membership and $20 for an ultra membership, this is him right now. Four times a month we do this DSP business. The show, four times a month you nominate Sweet. clips and we do this show. And then all of a sudden I say, oh, by the way, I've changed my mind. Now once a month we're going to do a long form the react. Business way and by that Phil we yeah, the business sway. So now actually you only the get sway three of business. Shows a month for the same price. <laughs> sway. That's, you can't do that. In business, that is a humongous faux pas. Oh, right? man. That's a really I've never seen somebody with do more Dunning Kruger than this guy, including like people that go on American Idol and literally can't sing so, for shit. If we're going to do these long form reacts moving forward, I do think I'm going to take everyone's advice. And I think what we're going to do is maybe what we should do is alternate. So maybe one month. We do a special event on DSP Gaming, and this month that'll be the Fight and Feast Street Fighter hype event. Fight and Feast. Then maybe for June, we do a long form the crust and bust. event on DSP React. The... And when we do it, we alternate it so that it's not back to the back fap the and swap. The internet. Maybe that for that work. week we do DSP fap and cap on a Friday with Phil Burnett. We have a day of gaming on Saturday, and we do Phil's fap and cap on Sunday. That breaks it up. It's not too much. You understand? But because we're doing that and we're taking away from my regular gameplay, that means there'll be no special Phil's trash and cash. Gaming that month. I don't know. All right? I don't so know. So I'm trying, I, let me know what you think, okay? This is again, this is a situation where we're learning, we're improving. I'm the Phil's in hope and cope. That, and that is a good one, the, the hope and cope. For the content and for you guys, as well as me, you know? So does this sound right? Does it sound like we should be alternating rather than just doing how we're doing now? A big, big event on DSP Gaming every month. Big event on DSP Reacts every month. You know, is it too disjointed? Is it too much being pulled in all directions? Bro, we don't give a fuck. Just like make the fucking content. Stop fast. talking That's about thing, doing the like content and just do the content. We're going to have three major but. games we're juggling. So maybe we shouldn't do a long form React this month. We'll, we'll wait and we'll plan it out for next month. And uh, and that way we won't be pulling away from... The sway. Any, sway. Uh, you know, gameplay or, or, you know what I'm saying? Does that sound good? I hope that sounds good. 
All right. Jade, you taking off soon? All right. Hey, time go. So Jade says. Mode Street Fighter Two. That would be rough. Vega's actually probably one of the harder people to he beat. He talks the game about with. business we'll value. We'll see. Thank you. I hope you have a good day, Jade. Video. And uh, yeah, talks about it tomorrow. Right. The twenty buck videos. He skips them. Right. We don't care. So people seem to like this idea. We'll talk more. Yeah, about he's, it. he's gonna sway the entire market. Downwards trend. From the comments left on that video. If you downwards seen it yet, trend. A it's a video. On it's up. It's going like this. Videos used to be like this. Now they're like this. Then they're like this. Then they're like this. Because I want to feedback on how you think the React channel is doing. And Jade said. Um, trying to take in, so basically the feedback is yo i go soon bye i love street fighter 2 you play vega in our arca well, arcade you and i agree with you we shouldn't be doing same things every week we need variety that's number one number two um, if i'm gonna do reviews only review things that are new don't review older things because no one seems to care about them unless there's a special event or a reason to do it because are we really talking about this um, and number three with the, the special long form react stuff it's good but don't do it every month and don't do it back to back with another react event so there you go. That's the feedback I'm getting. And so I think that's what we're going to try to roll with and see if it improves anything for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. I hope that basically now with this feedback I've gotten that we can improve the things feedback. on both channels. You know what I mean? Like I do feel that not having the full guidance of what I should be doing on the React channel has taken away from DSP Gaming a bit in the past <laughs> couple of months because I haven't gotten as much gameplay out, right? Uh, so maybe not. The feedback is all the people sending him emails, we'll dude. People like send him actual, like, like multi paragraph people long really emails say, to okay, help him because like they think that they're a part of something. Give it a, a break from. And April, then at some point, they realize that it all meant nothing and it was all worthless. Doing, come back stronger. In, in June with a better and they leave this is a pattern with all of his fans look at all of his fans okay that are not here anymore why did okay. they leave because they realize um, there's no point it's a bottomless pit good they throw right. money, they so throw advice, guys, they got the illusion that something's too, getting better that something is happening topic, and I'm gonna put it and eventually all right it's not thankfully I think this is gonna be the end of it and I'm they realize sure it's not the end of it because uh you know at this point I don't think anything else is happening with it or anything so uh let's see. Uh, let's talk about the topic. Let's get it out of the way. Because I'd like to, to get to shout-outs and talk with you guys for the rest of the show. All right? So, I'm going to get through this as fast as possible. Okay. All right? Last year, Keemstar wanted to do a show called the Lol Cow Cast, which is going to be a podcast with me, Boogie, and Wings. He was going to offer us each $50,000 as a signing bonus to do the show. However, I never even entered a conversation with the man about it because he was unable to contact me at the times that I told him to contact me. He was also not willing to discuss it via DM or email. So it literally never happened. In reality, it never I'm happened. In working with Keemstar, I don't like the guy. I don't like his work, his uh, the work he's put out. I don't like his morality. I don't like anything about him. I don't want to enter a business relationship with him, period. Should have said so no in the first place, those then. discussions basically never happened, a lot of drama happened where he was saying a bunch of shit about me and stuff. And it wasn't true, you know. They never basically, happened. I just kind of tried to stay away from it. Now, in the meantime, I had some discussions behind the scenes with guys Bruh. like William Wings about maybe Bruh. doing our own thing. Say, hey, why? what's stopping us from doing this show with each other? Like, like Boogie and Wings, or, or excuse me, me and Boogie had a couple conversations where it was like, well, he wanted to interview. Uh, but he was for his subs, like right? And overcrimp. And then maybe I can interview you back if you have shared content or whatever. Like, that was some of the discussions that we had, okay? But it never really amounted to anything. You know, one of the things I worked on, as you know, this year is DSP React. I was thinking that could be good content for the channel. They have an interview with him. He wanted to milk Boogie for content. Very channel. nice. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that would so be nice to have. The whole thing's been off the table. And there really hasn't been much discussion about it. And then all of a sudden, during my interview with the side scrollers, Keemstar shows up out of nowhere and interjects himself into the situation. Literally, he you agreed to have him on. You agreed to have him on. Was supposed to be about he had very much to do with the interview. You were talking about that topic at that point. What is doing here? Right? He had everything to do with the topic you were talking about. You were literally talking about him before he joined. Come to find out, apparently he's had a bug up his ass about me ever since I didn't want to do this show with him. And we had to talk about it or whatever, right? And at that point, I pretty much made it abundantly clear I want absolutely nothing to do with this man, all right? I pretty much tried to make it as, as, as transparent as possible. I don't like you. I don't want anything to do with your content. It's my prerogative if I do work or not with you, period, okay? That was that. Like, that's the end of it. Now, in the meantime, he continues to show up on my streams. He continues to tweet about me. I want nothing to do with this guy. I'm just ignoring him at this point. I'm done with him. I have no more interaction with Keem. I'm done. All right? In the meantime that all that's happening, okay, I get contacted behind the scenes by a third party saying that they're representing the third party? Boogie and Wings and that they're interested in doing this podcast with me, all right, 
and it would be just the three of us working on it. And essentially, it would be like a three-way split where we all do a show and work together and yada, yada, yada. But no details are worked out because in the meantime, Boogie and Wings are doing this fight, this boxing match for Keemstar. It's Keemstar's event, and they're taking a payday to do it. I think they're, they're doing it like for themselves, each not for like Keemstar. And essentially, we can't talk details about the show until they get back from their fight. All right? I confirmed with Boogie and Wings, yes, this was legit. They said, yes, this person is legit. This is someone who we're already working with, and we want to do this all together. Okay? And uh, so I said, all right, if you want to start talks about it or whatever, let's talk about it, right? I'm, I'd be willing to consider doing this, maybe trying it out, see how it works. You know, no details have been worked out whatsoever. It was just a, a discussion. I had a few emails back and forth with a guy who said that he was going to kind of be in the middle of this whole thing, and that was it. And where we had left it was, well... Uh, you know, we'll talk when they get back from their fight. Okay. Now the other discussion was that I told him outright, I want, I'm not doing anything with any involvement with Keemstar. So if he's involved, I'm out. And also we can't use the name of the lol cow cast, because if we do, that would actually be grounds for Keemstar to be angry and upset and maybe try to do something. Cause that was his idea. Technically he's the one who came up with the idea that it was going to be a lol cow podcast with people involved in all of that. And you can't just run with it and steal his name and all that. That's messed up. Not even just business-wise and legally, but even just for me, I wouldn't be ethically okay with doing that. But you're, you're, you're taking the concept, though. Thing, right? He came up with so, a concept of you three in particular, really right? discussions we've had. Nothing concrete. Right? But I no, it's just, it's, it's just the, the name that's the problem. It. it was all through a third just the name. We're just going to call it something different. Is the same idea? We just call it differently. You know, sure. it might happen. We'll see. Let's let their fight happen, and then we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. And that was it. So all of a sudden, I hear that this week, I guess Boogie did an interview with side scrollers. You know, I don't know anything about it. I'm not following Boogie, nor am I caring about side scrollers at this point. And in the interview, he apparently said a couple things. Number one, he's salty that. I cost him fifty thousand dollars. Him and Wings. I did not cost him and Wings fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, you did. The idea was made up. You made Keemstar, it all fall apart because you were a drama queen and a big baby. Or checked with me to see if I was even willing to do it or interested in doing it. Because I've decided I don't want to work with the guy. I didn't cost them. Yeah, you, you strung Keemstar him along to them. eventually tell him you were never interested in the first place. And when I decided not to do it, he canceled the idea. I mean, I outright have said, why don't you just do the show with them? Why do I need to be involved? This is so fun. It's just a bunch of like 40 year old dudes shit flinging on the internet. Right? It's so fun. Yeah. I love it. So it's so entertaining. This is the real reality the TV. This show. Why did it? This is the real if shit. There or not? If I don't want to do it, just do still do it with them. And and these guys obviously need the help, or else they wouldn't be so upset about. Don't them. you need the help? I think you need the help too, Phil. Just pay them, right? You would rather now, beg. He low key likes to beg. You know, that's pretty much. He got like a fetish for me. on the whole thing. So it's, it's a very weird. You know, Boogie thing. goes on this interview. He loves being a guy, victim. Cost him fifty k, and then he says, "Well, yeah." So we are talking with Dark Side Phil or whatever about doing a show. So he lets wind of it. He he's the one who talks about it publicly, not me. If you didn't notice, I haven't said a word about this. It's been going on for a few weeks. I haven't mentioned it. Why didn't I mention it? Because nothing's happened. There's been no concrete discussions, no contract signed, no even details discussed. It's just we're gonna talk about it after the fight, right? So last night, I'm streaming Oblivion, and people keep bringing up what Boogie said, what Boogie said, what Boogie said. I said, all right, enough. It's just a repeat of, just, of the video he put out said, already. I literally just said to you what I just said right now. I said last night on my Oblivion stream. Okay, right, and in a video. Oblivion stream. He's milking this drama for all it's worth. 450 that are here today, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, so that's what happened. So... Why didn't the side scrollers have wings on? I would have got a lot he of says, attention he's too. He's kicking you off the lol cow cast, and now they're looking for a third host. Yeah. To Boogie and he knew exactly how to say it so he can get him pissed off. He did it on purpose, dude, and it worked. Now he's gonna give you a clown mode. Yeah, look at this. Sway. You're kicking me off the show that I'm not on. That's an interesting concept. I've actually never heard that one before, that you can actually get fired when you don't work for someone. But then again, it's happened before. If you remember, I was fired from Twitter when Elon <laughs> Musk bought it, and I never oh, worked for this them, dude, is, he's taking all the bait. It was bait, I mean, dumbass. He knew how to phrase it so you can so get pissed off, and you did get pissed off. That I can actually get fired. You made a dedicated video about it, and now you're talking oh, about the same man. shit after saying you're done with it. Anyway, 
So, kind of interesting. Because people are now... never going to learn. Uh, ...coming to my stream to tell me that you're fired from the Lalkow cast. I'm not on the Lalkow cast. I never wanted to be. Like, what are you talking about, right? If you want to talk about delusion and being egotistical, someone who actually talk about because Bill. they wanted me on their show, that I was on it, even though we never even had the discussion about being on it, and I never wanted to be on it, that I was on it, and now they can fire me. Uh, you're insane. Like, you're literally insane. Anyone will tell you, you're nuts. That's fucking crazy. You, I was never part of your team. I was never employed by you. You can't kick me off of anything I'm not in. All right? You're nuts. <clears throat> I'm going to give uh, Super Chat shoutouts after this segment so we don't break it apart too much. So, Sorry about this. That tweet goes out. It's just a big right. drama segment right now. So now, of course, my whole stream is derailed last night because all anyone wants to talk about is the boogie thing and the Keem thing. So last night, I put out a video after my stream ended. And it was about a 15-minute video essentially covering what I just covered very, you know, in a nutshell, even, even more quickly today I covered it. And I'm like, so I really don't know what's going on. This is what's happening from my perspective. I'm supposed to be contacted by these guys after their fight to see if they're interested in doing the podcast or not. Again, no specifics have been discussed or anything. It's just an idea, right? There's a third party involved who apparently is going to be the one to, to wrangle it and arrange it and, and, and have all this going. And uh, and that's that, you know? So I don't know what Keem's talking about. It seems to be like nuts or something. I don't know, okay? So, you know, I go to sleep <laughs> and I get up this morning and I get bombarded with shit, okay? Like what? So What happened again? Here's what I get bombarded with, all right? Let's see. So The latest and greatest drama. The last 12 hours. By the way, just so you know, last night... <laughs> what happened, bro? I did try to contact Boogie and Wings and the third party. The third all of party. Them I tried to reach out to, to say, hey, what's going on with this? Because <laughs> I don't know. You know, I've heard it nothing. so shady, Boogie dude. On, going on a podcast saying he's salty about 50K. And you've got Keem making these tweets out of nowhere. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. You know, I'm just curious what's what's going on. All I want to know is what's going on. And here's the thing. I don't care either way, right? Am I interested? Why do you know what's going on when, when you don't care about right. it? fun to have a conversation and maybe it would be something fun. At the same time, I don't see why on earth this is a big deal. I'm super busy with my own shit. I'm not desperately looking for a crossover event. You know what I mean? Crossover events. So going on on DSP Gaming and DSP Reacts. <laughs> this was just a nice idea to throw out there. Man. You know what I'm saying? So, there you go. You know, so it's not a big deal to me. In fact, I'll be honest with you guys. If these guys are going to make 50K and they desperately need the money and it means working with Keem and they're okay with working with Keem, then more power to them. In fact, that's what I've already said. Did Bro, I, not I wish one of them say, was here to, to shut him up. I wish one of them was the here. Money. They would I tell them, you fucking that. idiot. Like, you need it more than any of us do. Pin the crux of this show that has to be part of it. Just do the show without me and still give them the money if they need it. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? I would rather have that. I would rather have the show go on without me than have a show that never happens and now these guys were, were hard up for money <clears throat> and they didn't get it, and now they're feeling bad about it, and they're angry at me for it. Like, what the hell, man? Like, why am I somehow getting... Again, you understand? Number one, I wasn't involved in a podcast at all. I wasn't involved in the Keemstar podcast. I never was. But I get pulled into the drama, even though I have nothing to do with it. I'm not what involved have in a podcast to do with, it, with Wings and Boogie. I never was. It's oh early God. discussions. Nothing de de determined. No he contract. Was Nothing. No he contract. Somehow, yes, he wasn't somehow, involved, so even though he was you know, discussing it. Drama again. Do you see how stupid this shit is? Do you see how you stupid this shit is? I don't want to be involved with other people. Do you get it? Like, this is why. Just Every delete everything, time, dude. Get off the internet and don't get involved with anybody. They pull me into their fucking nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Delete. Delete. I just, I hate delete. it. I don't want to be involved with these people. If Uninstall. Possible, I would like to make my own content for my own audience and continue to grow and evolve. Then block them and, and shut the fuck up about them. Content for those who like it. Call them fat retards. Block them. Shut the fuck up. YouTube relevancy. There you go. To become a known lol cow who now has viral known popularity and makes money by for making fun of himself. I don't <laughs> care about this at all. Oh, bro. Really, I've never actually actively sought it out once. These people come to me with their drama bullshit. And somehow then I have to, like, I'm literally wasting time right now on my own show talking about it because people won't shut the fuck up about it. 
All right. So, so you already made a video so talking about it. Then. See, I'm done with this shit. You're done with okay. it again. So, you were done with it yesterday. Last night. And last time. In the last like four or five times. Wings and boogie. How I many times are you gonna be done? Third party. It has now been 14 hours and no one's responded. And nobody so, responded. Being that's the fact, I'm going to just assume that the things that I've heard are real. And what I heard is that basically, after me talking about this on my show last night, uh, Keem had a change of heart and decides he wants to still do the lolcast, but now he doesn't know what to do because he needs a third host. He doesn't feel that it's strong enough with just wings. And I mean, he literally so posted he this posting on Twitter, up, asking people on the internet who do they want to see. Yeah, be the third like, host of the show. You could could have just okay check this Twitter Good dude. for them. Good. Let them do a show without me. That's called the lol cow cast because okay. I'm not a fucking lol cow. Just because idiotic mouth drooling idiots on the internet <laughs> termed that and made up a bunch of bullshit conspiracies and nonsense about me doesn't mean it's true. I don't care about what the fuck they're saying. I'm not going to be a part of your fucking toxic nonsense. <laughs> I make meaningful content for a group. I don't want to hear your bullshit. Really, I don't, I'm not going to be a part of your toxic shit. This, this is godlike. So have your lol cow cast. Have this is exactly what a lol cow would say for personal profit. Be on your show. This is I literally what lol cows say. From a Tech USA, this is the essence of a lol cow. Is being in denial about being a lol cow. And he basically just continues to do toxic oh, things that hurt other people. You know, like Keemstar for personal gain. So maybe okay. be your prime fucking candidate for the show. I think he would fit right in with what you're trying to do if that's what the show really is about. Which it seems like that's what it is. Alright? So go for it. And by the way, leave me out. I want nothing to do with it, all right? So if this is the case, and if Keem has essentially talked to Boogie and Wings behind the scenes and okay. convinced them, oh, I want to do the show again. I'm going to pay you 50K again. Good. I couldn't be happier. I'm happy for them. Let them get the money they need and do the show they wanted to do that I'm not interested in. I'm not interested in the lol cow cast. Our show, if we had done a show together, would have been very different than that. It would have been productive. It would have been positive. It would have been fun. It would have been intelligent. So, good for them. Let them do their shit. I don't care. And I'm done with it now. Because that's like I said, if 14 hours have passed and these guys aren't responding, obviously it means it's probably true. I guess someone had said that Boogie actually did retweet Wings. When Wing, excuse me. That boogie retweeted Keem when Keem oh, this said, is I'm out of the show. Literal middle-aged dudes talking yeah, about who show. retweeted who so, about internet me, drama. This is... Oh, just get a room already. A position where they with multiple double beds so you can all fit. Be involved with Keem forever. It's They're doing this fight. They're going to do a show. God damn. I don't want to be roped into the drama in the nonsense. It's like actual, like, yeah, that's right. It's actual I'm MySpace really bullshit. bullshit. You know? I'm not going to playground drama. I'm not going to let people get what a fucking baby. And he cries more than all of the other dudes. And he has nothing to do with this. And he's not involved. I didn't want to be. This is so awesome. It wasn't my idea to be on a podcast with them. Like I don't care about this. He doesn't care about this. Why do you keep talking about it? Fucking coming and derailing my shit. You know what I'm saying? Kind of seems like you care about this. And the sad fact is, I hate to say it, we all kind of know where it's going. We all know it's not going to work out. Um. Uh, you know, people tell me stuff out of the blue. So during this whole time, when all this is going on, someone actually contacted me personally and said, just so you know, it's a really good thing you're not working with Keemstar. Because this guy, historically people who work with him, <laughs> have a bad time. Who though? And then end up getting backstabbed after the fact. Hey, yo, who though? No one really when you said this on the side scrollers, what happened? They called you out and you couldn't give an example. He said the same shit on the side scrollers talks about it publicly because Keemstar basically said the same shit popular and they were like and like what Phil like what obviously like what well I see some so things in a YouTube again, documentary or not I guess Keem started a new show called the Keemstar show which was supposed to be a daily podcast you know his attempt to get out of the drama alert shit but do other content or whatever so he started this new show and he had a host now I don't even know the name of the host but apparently the host had a falling out with Keemstar during okay. the show. Okay, so like, you, you literally don't know anything about what you're talking about. Because and you hate when happy. people do that to and you, huh? Keemstar has gone out of his way. But he's, he's gonna do the same thing, because he doesn't guy. like the guy. Like, he's being a troll right now. He's being a detractor. Like Those people that are shitheads and they shouldn't exist, he's being one of them. Right. You know, he's a the Keemstar detractor. You get involved with a guy like that, 
You're putting yourself at such great personal risk. And now Keemstar is gonna see this and be like, oh, what a fucking piece of shit idiot. And then Phil's gonna be like, I gotta react to this. I don't wanna be involved in toxic uh. shit. When you hear stuff like this, you're like, I don't wanna deal with it. I'm done, you know, I, I'm enough going on. Okay, like, just say no and move on. Just happened to me this week. I couldn't be here on Tuesday and everything. The last thing I fucking need is more of this. I'm done with it, all right? So just understand that. I'm not going to be involved with it anymore, all right? So it's sad because it sounds like maybe the idea of me doing a podcast with Boogie or Wings or something like that would have worked and would have been a fun show. But they chose to go with the realm of money, it, so it sounds like. I mean, they haven't responded to me, so it sounds like they want to go for the payday. <laughs> they want to go for the payday. That's their choice. They could do that. Take the payday over self-respect. Go for Take it. the payday. And uh, and enjoy the money. Steve, yeah, are you hearing this? Well. Take the payday over you know, self-respect. I, I mean, I, I'll, I really do sincerely hope. The sway day. Sway. Keemstar. They don't get screwed over. But I'm not going to put myself into that risk whatsoever. All right? I'm, I'm just... It's not worth it. Uh, take a delicious sip. Get hydrated, my boy. So get some hydration. As of this moment, this is official. I'm making this official right now on my show. In all of my content. I would never want to speak about Keemstar ever again. I'm serious about it. He that. said this multiple never times again. officially. I do it, then that's okay. <laughs> but I don't want people bringing this multiple times. Ever again. I don't care what he tweets, I don't care what he says. <laughs> I don't give two fucks. X is in chat. Exist anymore. All right, to me, Talk he's going back to his, his fucking hollow tree to make his fucking fudge stripe cookies for the rest of his life. He hammered in the wood. He stuck in there and his fucking with the rest of his Keebler elves. And I don't want to deal with the guy ever again. All right, I'm done. I'm officially Sway. have no desire to speak with it about him or to him. I have no business relationship with him. It's over. The children need their fucking cookies. So let him make his cookies, and I'll be here making my own content. On my own little island for my own curated, you know, curated content for my own viewers, and I'm done. All right, enough. I don't want people coming to my fucking Oblivion streams or any of my other streams saying he said this, he said that, he said this. I don't care. I have nothing to do with the man. Period. Uh, right? I'm sure people are gonna tweet clips of this segment to Phil. I'm it's sure they're gonna do that uh, like to, to Keemstar. That's gonna be know. very entertaining. I don't know what's really going on. All right, I don't care either. It wasn't a big deal. This was their idea. They contacted me through a third party to get this going. Not me contacting them. They contacted me to do it. So it was their idea. If they're going a different direction, good for them. I still don't care. <laughs> I'm still not involved. So I think you're starting to see the point I'm making here. Let's see. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You Stop are talking about it still. And if I see people continue to bring it up, you will be moderated and removed from my content because I don't want to go talk about it anymore. There you I'm go. Done with it. There's awesome. no point to bringing this shit up. It literally does not affect me. It has nothing to do with me. I have a full agenda. I have all these games I'm playing this month. We have a special event coming up this month. <laughs> Are you kidding me? June is going to be ultra packed with content. Oh, with this is hot. Out. I literally have nothing whatsoever going on and naysayer just said something interesting he says what is he say now not later after you got the whole thing rolling correct this is kind of best case scenario best really case is. scenario <laughs> because what if we had already started actually seriously talking right? this dude what is if we had actually trash. started negotiations and uh, there was you know all this going on and then then all of a sudden there was a last minute change because keem comes in and offers them money or whatever that would have been different that would have been awful right so you're actually right, Naysayer. The fact that this all happened now is better for everyone involved than me wasting time and then coming out the loser at the end. All right? Please understand that. So there you go. I'm done with all this. I don't want to oh, hear anymore. Picking about the it. ear? I what do we got? Look at it. Again. I'm serious about it. Look that. at it. If you ever bring him up, he didn't look at it. He just wiped it away. And uh, yeah, moving forward, you're not going to hear me address it. Uh, all right? I, I would be shocked if I even hear back from these two. Being honest, I would actually now be shocked if I ever hear back from Boogie or Wings, because if they did sign a contract with with Keem for 50k now, which probably was a rushed thing they did overnight. Oh uh, um, yes, he's making up conspiracies at this point. You're just um, making shit up. I doubt that they're even gonna. And when people do that about him, they should be in jail, like actually in Guantanamo Bay. They should be waterboarded. All right, but at this point. Again, but he can just I do it. Do uh, apparently, I heard they were doing this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised so if they're doing this other right. thing. Just are we finished? Nonsense. Moving on with my own are stuff. Are we finished? Right? Like, are we gonna move on? And I hope you understand. And uh, I hope that uh, 
you know, now can we actually move, move on positively and not focus on the bullshit, right? Right. Does that sound good? Does it? I hope so. Do and by you? the way, I will say this too, because there's some people here are like, what about what's going to happen to 672? What? 672 is fine. 672 yeah, is a big he cut. Is or was. I don't even know if he is a moderator for Wings anymore. He doesn't do anything bad in my chat. People are allowed to watch whatever they want and enjoy whatever they want, right? So, the, I, you know, oh my God, just because someone had an association with one of these guys, I don't care. I just, I literally just told you I wish them the best. So why would I care if someone like 672 is in the chat or watches my content or anything, right? I don't, I don't understand why, why, why would people feel like, you know what I'm saying? Why that's do you feel like you should even bring it up if it's uh, nothing, Burger? What you do in your own free time is your choice. You watch me, you watch Wings, you watch Boogie, hell, you watch Keem, you watch whatever you, you want. You watch porn stars? For you, you have the right to make those decisions as a human. That's the beauty of uh, humanity is that you're independent and you have a choice <laughs> to do what you want to do at your time. Now, I have the right to criticize Bruh. what you do at your time. Oh, yeah? What about so Derek? You choices on what you want to do with it, right? So, yeah. Let someone be the absolute biggest cheerleader of those guys, and I hope that, again, I'll be honest with you. If, if this is true when they do a show, I hope that, I hope the show does well. I actually hope that this podcast does really well for them. Oh, um, yeah. Now we got fake yeah, fucking sympathy yeah, and fake, like, pretending like he likes those people. He believes right he's now. above them and that they're pathetic fucking cucks. Wish them success. He I believes they're sure. trash, dude. I think they've been beaten down. They've been mistreated by the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Success. So I hope that they have it. You de do you think you deserve yeah. more success than them? And that's my final Are you salty that they have more subject. success no than you do groups. currently? No drama. Mm. No nonsense. Yeah, just like he was right, with the side scrollers. Oh, I don't hope you guys made a lot of money off of this. I hope you guys got a lot of positivity. They made apparently $20,000 off of me. Into this nonsense bullshit anymore. I'm done with it. Yeah. If you bring it up, you're out of here. Because we have shit to do. I'm way too old for this shit to be dealing with this toxic insane drama nonsense on the internet i want no involvement with these these stupid drama circles anywhere all right, all right. are we are we now we done for real right. is this the real being done now we're gonna that's that all right oh we banned somebody so now we can move on and we can okay to a shout out segment of my hey let, that's enough. actually very appropriate phil because i'm gonna do shout outs as well multiple different super chats his first super chat that he did earlier on. What is this, some dumb shit? Said, I feel like DSP versus the internet is a good idea. Yeah, we don't care. Let me do some super chats of my own. Music. Because uh, this segment was long as fuck. The reactors dude. basically are big giant YouTubers. Let's see. Big ups to Slime Privilege. Do you think this third like, you know party thing is the big project yeah, coming sure in the future that he teased a week ago? Uh, potentially. But I, I still think it's a June the King documentary that he is being a consultant on. So he's going to give his own story. Yeah, but that's that's what I think. Big ups to side scrollers, tra Trav. Right. Oh, Wings said he wanted to see oh, how we treated Boogie oh, if we ambush him. Um, I I haven't watched the whole thing. I just watched them talking about DSP on this, and I think you were pretty fair. I think it was like a normal civil discussion, like adult humans, something that did not happen with DSP because he's not an adult human. That's why they had to talk to him like he's a kid. Hey Phil, you're you're getting one last chance, man. Is this champion's account yours? Uh, no. I just played the game. Uh, big ups, uh, Trap. Now we got Omega Kirk, big ups. You're fired from life. Talk about me wife, dog. Talk about my wife. Fired from life. They fired him like uh, every other job. Yeah, he got fired from a thing he wasn't even a part of. That's That's epic. You can only dream of being fired of shit like that. I don't care, says man who's devoted an hour to the exact same topic. I hope Keem makes them sign a non-compete clause. Uh, they, like, he has, like I said earlier, multiple hours worth of footage talking about things that he doesn't care about, which is the opposite of what people who don't care about stuff do. And this is a $30 tip, so let's go ahead and... and $30 and tip from Gamecocker, dude. Game checker up on <laughs> he, he, he didn't want to cry, I'm sure. Like, we're getting close to, like, a DSP crying segment. But I think it's going to be related to one of his, uh... Um... One of his, uh, suffering oh, reasons to have the in real life. Jab and word at Keen, then doesn't want to talk about mm -hmm. it again. Yeah! 41 year old dude, right here. We, we got some, uh, in the Discord, there's this, um... There's the thread about the DSP forums. And once you read some of that shit that he's wrote on there, even like stuff that goes back 10 years ago, you would see he's always a, been a toddler. Always been a toddler, always want to get the last word in and then lock the thread. 
planned out already. But Such a piece of shit, dude. Submitted more terminal montage videos. And then uh, Vike says this. What would a DSP fanfic of this look like? What would a DSP fanfic of this look like? A lot of bacon grease, baby oil, and uh, beard oil for for Keemstar. Turn into the game. I loved it. Absolutely. Just because that worked last week. Major, you can't fire me. You can't fire me. I quit. No, it, it's like you can't fire me. I never even worked for you. And then you get everyone. There we go. Same thing. Thread and the next thing you know, hey, we locked the thread, so we, we can't even talk about it anymore. Sadly, oh, there we go. It's too much of the same. That's what everyone's complaining about. And so he is still talking about content. literally every week. the thing he so, talked about three times yeah, already I'm, today. I'll, I'll That's incredible. Guys, I don't that is anyone, actually incredible. Like I'm taking a look right now, and I don't think anyone submitted that style. Yeah, and when, when you read some of those forum posts, you're going to realize how little he has actually changed. So we'll see how those go. Like, he still acts exactly the same way. He's still just as jealous, just as spiteful, just as arrogant, just this mug That's exactly like the same behavior except so now the only thing is that he's not allowed to say certain things that back in the day he was allowed to say uh, that's the only thing that he changed about himself and if, if anything now he's worse yeah he's more spiteful he's more jealous he's angry and his back is worse his back hurts more some of this is, uh, is actually go. gonna be fascinating i feel and now we're just scrolling oh, through videos right. that you there can't even a see terminal, a terminal montage in here there is there i didn't even go. know I was, I was adding these to playlists last night, but I didn't know the guy's name. Yeah, there's a terminal montage in here. Terminal montage. There's there's good variety here, though. Like, for what I'm seeing. Then again, there's definitely repeat videos. I mean, look at this one. Hold on a second here. How long into this, this podcast are we? We are an hour and ten minutes. Can I remove from playlists from that this? That is pretty Maybe crazy. So we have about 20 more minutes left. Maybe a Q&A. Oh, nah, I don't think I can. Even though that... that that part about Team Star, that shit was oh, way I'm too long. Watch two of this guy's videos back to back. We'll deal with it, I guess, when we get into it. I'm looking at it now. You know, the thing is, I'm going through these, and when I, when I get to like video 50, I start to kind of lose it. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, I Game Tracker is anybody's sock. Kind of like I think the play, there's just the a dude called Game Tracker. Not offensive. But yeah. I don't know. Like we've got like fifty. I don't know much here. about the the there's regular pay no I just know Slayer is from Singapore because he keeps keeps talking about it. And oh, uh, the so villain um, is literally an yeah. incel so we do have a terminal who is 30 years old Thank but takes tip. Viagra. Game and track. he doesn't even have okay. sex. Continuing on. Like, literally. He's an actual incel popping Viagra and, and just jerking here. off. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is funny. Someone has tipped me a dollar says, If you do a tier list of different fighting game franchises like we're talking about doing during DSP's Fight and Feast on the 21st, be careful when you put Smash Brothers, the Nintendo fans... And yeah, the, the thing is that he yeah, admitted right. all this stuff in videos crew. that he releases on the internet. Be pretty he, he puts this shit the out game. there. You know, they I don't know why people would do shit high like regard. This. You're absolutely right. Listen, I, I, I am... I have been converted. And what I mean by that is when Smash been converted. became competitive and they wanted to have it at Evo, I was staunchly against it. I was like, Smash is a party game. Smash is not a competitive fighting game. Under no circumstances should Smash Brothers ever be held at a tournament. Like, seriously. That's how I was. But then when I started to watch competitive Smash, I was like, and I, I mean, it is a competitive game. I don't know if you can really fully call it a competitive fighting game because it doesn't really contain many of the elements that would be considered a fighting game. You understand? At the same time, it is a competitive game. So, anyway. Um, thanks for the tip. Anyway. I received... Crap. An anonymous $50 tip. Whoa. And it says, everything you, sh you, you said... No, everything you should so far is on point. Everything I should? What does that even mean? I think they meant everything, everything you've said, dude. said so far yeah. is on point. Yeah. I think. But I don't know who this is. Whoa. Anonymous $50 tip. We are Weird. shocked. Because I also got an anonymous $50 tip last night out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Out of nowhere. And usually I don't get anonymous $50 tips. Like if I'm going to get a big don't tip just, for someone I know. Tips just kind of oh, come out of nowhere I mean, unless you beg. Now, I don't see any reason to not uh, count it. But I guess I'm going to have to be paying attention. What? Right? <clears throat> what? Seriously, this is two nights in a row now. I won once during the Oblivion stream and once this morning. Oh, oh my yes, god, I really... Uh, wonder. I hope that these showers. are legit. I really do. I hope these are legit. <laughs> yeah, they, they do need to take a shower. Uh, a huge tip. 
from what I've been told. Obviously, I'm appreciative of it, but I am hoping that it's his tip that's gonna stick. I guess we're gonna have to. What do you mean out, it's right? gonna stick? It's not gonna be you a chargeback. That's is. what that's he wants to tell you. Streamer, right? It's not gonna and be a uh, chargeback. You're gonna have these situations. You know, <laughs> this dude is such a paranoid baby, the dude. The doubt for now. He can't even just take the money and appreciate it. We gotta be like, oh man, maybe he's gonna want it back. So, I can't even give him a legit shout out. But hold on, we're not even gonna count we'll it. Find out, I guess. All right. Wait, wait, wait. In the meantime, we're, thank what, you. We're not gonna count it tip. until we we find out if it's real or not. Okay. What? And uh, let's continue on. Oh, actually, I should add it to the total, shouldn't I? And put it on. Yeah, you definitely should. I'd be pretty dumb if I didn't. Okay. Okay. Keep in mind, I actually have no idea the exact time they tipped that. So I don't know what I was even talking about when they said that. Um, been a long show, yeah, so you can like, check your email and see the invoice, and you'll see that. exactly when they but, uh, sent it, because that's how it works. You can actually see the time. You just pretend like you can't. Just just throwing this out there. If you're going to tip, and you're going to tip a big amount, I strongly recommend you make a name. I strongly oh, recommend yeah. you... You make a name. Leave a message. That makes sense so I can categorize who you are. This this yeah. message didn't make sense? All right, Kagome, I'll see you on the other channel. You should give him uh, your first and last out. name. Yeah, make a name. Dollar tip. Don't be anonymous. This dude fucking sucks, dude. Everything with him has to have extra steps, has to be inconvenient, just so it can right. be convenient so, to him. This is interesting. Someone says the consensus of being a lol cow is not determined by you. Yes. I don't think anyone actually chooses to be a lol cow. No. I mean, that's a, obviously a fair statement. Okay. But but what is the criteria just because someone says your criteria is people make fun it. of you and you have no idea why and you are in denial of that criteria for it literally what they milk the, you for la for laughs uh determination of that point that's what i want to know because you can look it up a boogie, right okay 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 so okay. what are their commonalities well a lot of people shit on them maybe at one why point though? they both had prominence and now they, they say stupid stuff problem. they do stupid stuff right um they're both overweight okay they're both white i guess uh, they don't no. even make the same kind of content really right like wings does a lot of first person shooter stuff he does dark soul stuff and stuff like that yeah no I don't think just just look it up man just game, look it up you know but i don't think necessarily that's <sighs> it uh, is it that they're i don't know is it that they're self-deprecating like what are the criteria right because i'm sorry just because and people a shit person on or a group of people laughed at for actions that they take, despite not trying to be funny. They may try to take themselves seriously, but are often milked for laughs with or without their knowledge. The definition of Philip Paul Burnell is lol cow. On you? The definition. That shouldn't be a qualification to be called something negative, right? Like, if you are someone who has earned that title through consistent problems, failures, shortcomings. That was the very first definition. Drama, right? For me, I seem to be the kind of person, people pull me into their shit. Just take a look at the case in point of what we just talked about on this show. Literally. Literally. Didn't have anything to do with Keemstar. He pulls me into his shit last year, right? Creates drama. I'm not even involved in it, but he keeps making more fucking drama for me. How is that weighed against me, right? I never asked for involvement or nothing. He pulls me into his, his toilet. Of shit, you see? And a scat. Doesn't make any God sense like. at all, right? It's just dumb. <sighs> Mega Man NT says, a log is defined by their ability to provide... Now it got fucked up. Hold on. A log is, is defined by their ability to provide farmers with humorous content they milk. Sometimes, or someone who ignores trolls entirely or doesn't make content can't be one. Yes. Well, obviously, if you don't make content, you have to be a public figure, or else no one even oh know who you God. are, right? And ignoring trolls entirely, I disagree. I completely disagree with you. Because even if every single thing anyone ever said about me was ignored, they still fucking do it anyway. You understand? They would do it a lot less like, I feel if like they didn't the get a reaction. Why some of the conspiracies against me have never been dismissed, or the reason that people still bring them up, is because I've ignored them, right? I refuse to discuss them at length, I refuse to entertain them and talk to them at talk about them at length, right? And because of that, what happens? These idiots propagate the false conspiracy as a fact because they say, "Well, if Phil won't disprove it, it's true." Well, that's not true at all, right? It's bullshit. Even in a court of law, that wouldn't ever hold. 
That's, you know, it's... In the court of law... Being guilty within a shadow of a doubt, you know... You, if being a lol cow isn't in, in the Constitution, evidence, Phil. It's not true. It's but an internet the is thing. The drama they bring me into, right, is stuff that I'm, I'm not... I don't care about. I'm not involved in. You are you involved know, in, though. The reason I had to talk about it today is because these idiots are derailing my content. They're coming to my stuff and derailing it. And if I don't tell you... You're the one derailing it. ...on it, right... Then guess you what? have full control now over what happens true, on your streams. A hundred percent control. My, my take, it's all true. So if one of these guys goes out and says, you know, slander stuff about me, you gotta, you, if you just ignore it, this is the thing, I've tried everything. I've tried directly addressing it, that doesn't work. I've tried completely ignoring it, that doesn't work. It seems like the best way to handle it is only when it directly is massively affecting you to the point where it's hurting your audience. Like last night, I had people coming to the stream, derailing my Oblivion stream. I had to address it or people were just going to keep doing that. You understand? So I had to. I had to bring it up. So, uh, it's almost yeah. Like he never I, I don't want this. Internet it's funny because they're like... He, well, he that's pretty bizarre to because he used okay. to be one. You could literally do that he to used anyone. to be one. Right now, and he knows that the more the of a reaction you give people, the more the they're going to keep doing this. I just and if you tell them what hurts you, they're just going to keep doing more of that. I could literally milk anyone for content, negative content. Not I really. Of anyone and say no. Here's shortcomings. Here's a part that's funny. Here's a part that we can no. fuck with people. What? But no. I don't do it. So how does that make them allow? That doesn't ideas. make sense. Just look how he stole the name level I one podcast. Thing. It's really not really surprising he would also steal another Keem's idea. Yeah. Well, it's it's all owning the meme, dude. One day yeah. he's gonna own the lol cow meme. He's just not desperate enough. If he was desperate enough, he would own a lot more it's memes. Like, once people one day he will be. you into this, you're fucked, and there's nothing you do. Big ups, uh, Hughes and side scrollers. Get you, out of it. you understand what I'm saying? Baller alert. Like, and what did I do to get into it? Well, ten years ago, people started making fun of my gameplay, and I reacted poorly. And that's literally okay. it. No, that's, that's not literally it. This whole thing, it's your financial decision. Play, it's your raging toxicity. It. There was no it's the way you treat people. It's the way you treat your fine. own chat. All the shit that people deem is problematic. Uh, today, laundry list it's of fine things. Fine before this is how you don't play. But once this and is the, the fact that you're not now, aware of that, that does makes bad. you even more so of a lot. Make fun of him for everything, and everything he's done in the past is also bad. LMFAO. It just changed the whole mentality of the internet. Yeah, yeah. There we go. But that's why I made that song. They were right. The after the side scrollers interview, because Craig went on duty stream and it was like, yeah, you know, man, people said all this stuff and that I should expect all this stuff, and you know, the detractors, they were right. As I told you guys, I really, 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 they were right. Don't want anything to do with this at all. I want nothing to do with any of the the, the, the drama shit, the loud cow shit. Stop anyway, talking about no it. Involvement in it. This is the I second segment. You just said you were done with it like 20 minutes audience, ago. Period. And if I, we get a few newcomers here or there who jump on and enjoy, great. But I'm in no aspirations again uh, to do anything huge. So I don't know why I keep getting pulled into this nonsense when I don't want to do it. You understand? I never wanted to be on a podcast. Okay. <laughs> that was not, never my desire to do that. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Uh, I received a $6.66 tip from Dan the Man who says, Hey, Phil, what's going on, Dan the Man? It's good to have you here today. Let's get your nice animation up there. We haven't seen the 666 animation in quite some time. He could have um, he could have really got over the whole jacking off on stream thing. Ooh, and it could have been like a redemption <clears throat> story. Burping hey, look at this dude. Back that. in the day, he Disgusting. jerked off on stream. Now yeah. he's a big success. It never stopped him. Let's see and here. it became the opposite. It became the thing everybody referenced him about. And he just cries about it year after year. Even though it happened in 2016. Okay. It's pretty goofy. I received a $20 tip. Hey, there we go. One minute, man. From the anonymous person, the anonymous person chooses to remain anonymous, but I know who they are now. What? Oh. So there you go. Okay. So there wow, you go. that's so transparent, tip. Phil. We've hit $108 in tips. The problem is we're about to end the show. He told them in the message, hey, Phil, it's actually okay. me, so but I want to be anonymous. Hat, but I'm about to end the podcast. Thanks, so I see. Channel. So here's what we'll do. We've hit- Oh, this is over. The hat. Uh, hat. We've hit the hat goal, all right, and and now everyone's guessing who's the, the anonymous. Of course, of course they are, because you're shady as fuck. Uh, and when you're goal, shady as fuck, people we'll start guessing when, stuff. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna end the show, like with your medical issues, reacts, and when that, that apply, you suffered so hard from. Of course, that's you just kind of how it while works. I'm still getting set up and everything, so that way you have time uh, to pick the hat, uh, and we'll have that for the beginning of the show. Sounds good. Okay. I too loved the terminal montage video, uh, Derek. It was very good. Um, okay, what is it? What this? are the chances he draws the tips over? He will. 
He will. They're gonna start with uh, 100 and whatever. Because otherwise it would actually be a scam. Uh, like, quite literally, actually. I received a $51 tip Whoa. from someone named Your Webcam Guy. <laughs> Another sock. Your Webcam <laughs> Guy. And he says, <laughs> More socks. Me, this is good and it will stick. Keep on. Oh, uh, this is well, good and it will stick. Your Webcam Guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sway. Keep swaying. Has tipped fifty one dollars. That is now the biggest tip of the day. Whoa! Did we awesome. we hit the best goal? Now, the is, we, we did it, you guys. Animation. There's no point in doing it again. So I guess we'll do. Let's do this one again because this is a good animation. Yeah. I love this one. Oh, it's yeah, it's the welfare checks, yeah. dude. Yeah. How could I forget we welfare checks? They just hit in tips. the money books. Just just came into action. People got the money to the blow. First time we have done this. Wow, months. it's gonna be hot. We haven't actually hit. The hundred fifty dollar goal in many weeks. Oh so yes, very appreciative of that. So again, what we'll do is we'll do a hat pull and then we'll do a vest. Man, Keemstar is owned right now. DSP React still made a lot of money best for today's show. Keemstar is destroyed. Air conditioner because it's gonna get hot in here. We wearing all that shit. Okay. In fact, you know what? What is gonna get hot? It's getting hot in here. You should start taking clothes off. I'll turn like off Rich. Now, just start cooling down the office. <laughs> What if it's that just it's really hot in Rich's office? Here. That's why he takes off his shirt. All right. uh, another Wouldn't tip. that make sense? It's been awesome today. Thank you so much, everyone supporting the stream. All right. A dollar thirty-three tip <clears throat> from Harry Pepperoni Nipples. I think why people call you a lol cow is because you you ask for money, uh, and in the past you did ask for money to pay for your taxes. I remember you did a stream for a two thousand dollar goal, but uh, personally, I don't think you're a lol cow. What? Okay. What does that have to do with, again, I guess, the, that doesn't seem to fit the criteria. If the criteria is- Bro, there's not a fucking checklist. Milk, it's pretty simple. Right? No, Perhaps. no. Any, that could happen to anyone. Like no. literally anyone you could microanalyze the content they put out. Could you do that to Maximilian dude? Right? Is Maximilian dude a uh, lol cow? You find someone who is of a level that they can't defend themselves. Really? If you tried to do that to a big streamer, no one would care. But if you find they literally do that though. They constantly do that. Sunny V2 is one of the latest right? ones. That's the person where they just shit on his all his fucking videos. Right? I don't know. And by the way, and I don't I'm know. Assume what he says is correct. Awesome. Because, you know, in the past, many years in the past, I did marathon streams where I was trying to raise funds for particular reasons, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree that that happened. I know for a fact there was several times. When I had to kind of do like a marathon stream to make ends meet, notably around the time when the bankruptcy was going on, because I had I had all these de all this debt, I had no recourse, nothing to do. You know what I mean? Like it was all messed up back then. Um, so I'm not gonna say it didn't happen. It probably did. I don't distinctly remember the event, but I guarantee you it did. If he's bringing it up, um, what I can tell you is this: I am very, 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 very happy. What I, I can tell you is this: right? that I'm in a position where I've I'm changed. Not doing these. Oh my God! Crazy begathons. You will, Phil. You will. You where will. I need what help has right been away. will be. Please support me. You know, at least I'm not in that position. Thank yeah, you God. will. Okay. It's just gonna be called different. It's gonna be a celebratory that stream. Makes sense. Yes. So Kevin, first of all, says you're funny, but I don't think you're a lol cow. No. Ginger Peach says, for me, it was the camera was on the whole time moment. Why? Why are they you know asking that, fans of a lol cow? Why because he's a lol was, cow? Of course they don't think he's a fucking lol cow. Before then, you know what I'm saying? Just go look it up. Like, look up the definition. Happened. And the other thing about that is, if that is the truth, <clears throat> does that mean that lol cows can be completely different? Because if you're saying that yes. was the moment, right? He's so fucking stupid, man. Moment. And this is what makes him a lol cow. Complete inability so to comprehend anything. One moment in time can make that happen. But is that the equivalent to someone who is constantly making those moments, right? Like, let's 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 talk a little bit real quick, because I gotta end the show. Uh Steely Sam is some today. some dude this with a failed right, YouTube channel. He got more he subs than DSP and makes and I capitalize oh, almost about the same views as him. He says that if you're categorized as a lockdown, so, yeah. you should capitalize. He's, he's not very bright. So when he apparently. takes his shirt off and when he sucks a cucumber on his stream, which is a regular occurrence for what I'm to understand, Rich, that's something he's doing for personal profit and gain, and he's buying into the meat, correct? Now you can argue, well, he's a loud cow because he he's that he's doing this all the time, right? This is something that he chooses to do for personal gain. Am I right? 
So, okay, you call him a Lao Kao, it makes sense, right? Yeah, speaking me, of Steely Lord Sam, he basically from? confirms he's a dent by saying, Phil, I gotta tell you, you're an inspiration just from your ability to weather the storms. Right? There was one really bad mistake <laughs> that I made in 2016 because I was in a bad place in my no, personal No, bro, life. no. Really stupid no. Thing, obviously. No. And since no. then, I've done everything I actively can to improve myself as a person, as a content creator. I've changed the format of the content I make. I've changed the style still of the content I make. I still toxic. To feedback. I've improved. Still I've delusional. Out. Still narcissistic. Take a look at me playing Elden Ring today, right? And I'm dying. Tell me about dying, it. Dying. Am I sitting here and freaking out, screaming and raging and you know, losing my cool? That happens every once in a while. But if you haven't noticed, I, I, I've tried to change. I'm not, gonna, I'm not doing that shit. It happened literally I'm the really other day playing Star trying. Wars. To become a better person and a better content creator, you know? So... Does that mean because of one bad moment? I, no. I honestly would think that's that just a lol cow light. That's literally I just a straw man day, argument. This is how you don't play came out, and I in my content I would rant about how wrong it was that people were stealing my content and how immature and you still do it though. It was just stupid. I should have just shrugged it off. That I think that's more lol cow worthy. Uh, he shit on restreamers yesterday. Used to do, but I mean, I don't do that. Oh, so these fucking I mouth mean, I've tried rulers! To, I tried to be better, you know. Yeah, so, you're still so, salty about yeah. it. You still shit on people, daily basis, Phil. What can you do, right? Anyway, I think it's time for us to end this uh, discussion. Hey, it sounds I'm good. Annoyed about you hear my air conditioner, right? You hear it, right? It's going. Boom, boom, yeah, boom, you boom, have boom, no. Uh, it didn't used to do that. No noise gate. And I'm wondering what. We can what hear everything. If cat farted downstairs, you could hear air it. Conditioner. Hold on one second. If I can figure this out. Are we for real? So. Awesome podcast, Philip. Can you guys hear it? Does it sound loud to you, the air conditioner? Because I think I figured it out. I think what's happened is I know I've owned this air conditioner for many years. And. Yeah, it literally sounds loud as fuck. It's like there's a helicopter the next to it. It has kind of warped. A little bit so instead of being <laughs> flat like it should be it's kind of like a slight bubble and because of that it vibrates i put my hand down on it and uh, it stops okay so if i can find something heavy to like just place on top of it it may not make the sound anymore <clears throat> the question is what do i put on it jasper <clears throat> put jasper on it <laughs> uh, bro what the fuck dude couldn't he do this in the break in between both streams, because he's about to have like a 10 15 minute break. Bro. Shit. Oh. Literally DMCA Dark Dave because Yeah, he yeah it literally. Literally deleted both channels. Literally. Because he was butthurt. The other day he was calling people mouth drooling idiots for restreaming him. When it was his big drama stream, he was shitting on Rich for making fun of him. This is peak lol cow. <laughs> let's make use of this thing. <clears throat> yeah, let's make use of this. Are we fucking serious? Is there no other time to do this? We gotta do it in the middle of a podcast? And then he's gonna publish this as a podcast and claim that it's meaningful content. Is this a meaningful content? Is this meaningful content? Very interesting. Yeah. What does this mean if it's meaningful? What does this represent? A dude who doesn't care? He would yeah. rather burn the house down than get a noise gate or noise reduction or knobs. Yeah, noise gate has been pissing me off recently because uh, with this new microphone, everything I do gets picked up. It's a condenser. And it's kind of annoying. I'm trying to tweak it to be proper. But the dude has literally nothing. You can just hear 25 decibels. Not 25. It goes until minus 25 of just the raw noise. I noise. Everything else but fill. Yeah. Goes up to minus you're 25. Still, you can still hear the, it running, but you don't hear it. Rum, 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 rum. It stopped it. I you mean, can still hear it. Xbox One box on top of my air conditioner. You actually can. But as long as it's not freaking, you know, making a loud ass noise. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I got a use for my old Xbox One. There you go. Um, our the egg back. Tip. Hey, we're still getting money, so the the pre stream is gonna keep going until he okay. stops getting it. Oh, let's see here.
Okay. I see the five dollar tip from Arthur who says, it seems like the criteria for videos you can submit for DSP versus the internet are changing. First it was anything, then it was nothing flagged for adults or kids, then it was nothing with excessive gore or sexual content, and now you're saying no repeat. Yeah, but you have to understand, it's an evolving show. I mean, ultimately, we're trying to make a show that's entertaining, correct? Okay. That's the point of By the making show. more and more and so, more rules. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you, you became a member. You paid four bucks. Dude, just shut the fuck up. Video, Count his they, they tip and watch, move on. Maybe they didn't. And uh. the point is we're trying to make an entertaining show for everybody, right? Or else, what's the point? I'll just say submit your video. I won't even stream it. Like, what's the point, right? <laughs> the, the point is content that people want to watch. You know? Oh, are they watching so, it though? It seems you like you're getting less and less together views together to make every better. week. The more it evolves, yeah, the less views he gets. Kind of seems to me like people right, don't want to be watching that shit. Better. If it's just unrestricted anything, the show will be complete nonsense. <laughs> Here's the truth. If I didn't restrict it, I'm shitting you not. Uh, we would have probably 10 to 15 lol cow videos a week. Because some people keep trying to submit. Lala cow. You would have videos. over the top, stupid the ass, disgusting, to gross, gore, sexual content. To fix AC. Try submitting it. I Such an know, ape. Stop yeah, it. it's Grug. Grug. You probably would have seen the same kind of videos every Grug fucking week. Grug put box on AC. Resubmitting. I say no, stop resubmitting the same video. If it's like week four, and it was purposely skipped over, there's a reason. Yeah, right? catch a hint, <clears throat> you fucking idiots. You understand? It that? almost seems like so, fans of DSP also yeah, like lol cows. That's a that's a weird crossover. That's sure a weird that Venn diagram. Kind of I wonder how that looks. To make the show better, they keep this sending him lol cow stuff. He's not a lol cow, you fucking idiots. Catch a hint. Whole, it's a private and show pay him for the people. pleasure. Where they care, you know, they they want that. This is something that everyone has to watch together. You understand? So we have to make it better. This is going to get better over time. But I understand what you're saying. If you feel you're not getting. You know what you want out of the membership. It's your prerogative if you want to cancel it. Or if you have suggestions for improvement. Is there something further I can offer members? If DSP versus the internet isn't enough, <laughs> what else would you like? It's a weird right? discussion. To get more value out of it. I'm, I'm open to your suggestions for sure. I'd like to hear your suggestions. Tell me your suggestions so I can say why they're, they're not possible. Right, for good reason. People have done this before, be Phil. Without it, That's why most exactly things he's doing point. now, people have asked him to do <laughs> five years ago. And he adopted them now because he realized now they are good. And then they flop. Okay. Because um, they're not popular anymore. So, Sarah had re-upped her membership for three months. Says, please don't get dra dragged back to the drama. I don't plan on it. Like I said, I've she said won't be. Piece. I'm done with it now. Yeah, I can expect like the Keemstar segment tomorrow. To live in the drama and make money with it, they can. That's their prerogative. I'm not doing that. I'm okay. That well, enjoy okay. level so one. Good, still. Right? I think we're done. Yeah, are we done? Can we finally move on to... Uh... Can we? I'm wondering. Can we? Can we come to the end of the show? Okay. And can we move on? Because we got a React show to do. So we got to swap over to DSP Reacts, okay? And I hope that you guys will, uh... Okay. Join me over there. It okay. It should be fun. All should right. Should be? All right. Sound good? Sound good. He was just checking okay, his phone. He was just meandering because he was checking his phone. I got phone. what I had to say off my chest. This is literally I'm like a what? A one... I understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not going to have that nonsense. An hour and 37, 38 minute like podcast. Said, we'll switch over to DSP Ridiculous. Reacts, what we will do is polls. There'll be a poll for the hat. And a poll. That'll be determined by the beginning of the show. And then there'll be a second poll for a vest. That'll be determined by like part two of the show. Uh, and we'll go from there. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so very much for watching the Level 1 Podcast. Now, Swaggo Nito re this membership. Let's go. All right. We got a long show coming. Yes. Thank you so much for that, and thank you all for your support. Happy right. spring, everyone. Sorry, I still I still need to look Swag. for intro music that's going to not be an issue. You know what I'm saying? Because sadly, there's Why don't you a make lot it of things that's going to be an issue, so I have to look into it. But thank you for watching, and uh, I will Guess see so. you Guess not. soon. All right. Um, okay. You're going to be okay, forwarded guys. to so, the Decepticron right stream off. now. So Swap enjoy that. I'll be there. See you around. Okay? Big ups. Okay, first of all.